We gotta reuse it. Saturn here. Hey Kevin, it's your mother. I included another game in that box, but I didn't see it on stream. I packed it in with the neon sign. It was called Nintendo Championships or something. Oh, nice. Anyways, love you, son. X O X O X. So you were adopted. <laughs> uh. Cowabunga. Oh. Oh, that reminds me of bungee jumping. And then these are my kids. What do we got here? What is this? Eat your pizza, you donkey! Oh shit! <laughs> it's adorable. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Oh, so yeah, oh, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? 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 It's missing every single screw. I know you're a big fan of Kirby, right? Well, here we have Kirby. Just got stabbed in his face. We also got Ninja Kirby, who thinks he's a badass until he gets stabbed in the face. Uh, we got the Knit Kirby until he gets unknit. Um. Oh, and we got Yo-Yo Kirby, who has a Band-Aid, so I've already abused this Kirby. You don't need to see me do it again, but I'll do it anyway. Well, welcome back, partner. If you want to get dibs, you got to be quick on the dibs. <sighs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? All right, now let's see what we wrestled up over here, cowpokes. Hooey! Sorry. Uh, first up. And this is a rare variant of the white one, but it's actually called Piss. Pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting variation on the original white. Do I have a PS5 by chance? Um, well, we don't have any out for sale, but let me just check in the back really quick. We might have one. Let's see. Oh. You know, I don't know why people never ask us to check in the back. Uh, oh, shit, we got one left. Here, I'll get it down for you. <laughs> oh! Uh, I, no, I think that was our last one. I'm sorry, dude. That one's broken now. Shit. I shouldn't have tried to grab it with the camera in my hand. Idiot.
Lucy, that's, whoa, there's a cat here? What? Since when? <laughs> You guys like that. Let's see if it's just the TV again. The TV seems to be guys I'd like to announce I'm done streaming forever. Um oof. I'd like to announce I'm selling the store. I'd like to announce that Black Blair is my son. This guy really packed this thing up. I wonder what it is. There's a note attached. Just kidding. It's a Wall Street kid, I assume. There it is, Wall Street kid. How's Kelsey and the bird? They're doing fantastic. The bird recently has been trying to sleep with my wife. He's trying to build a nest for her, uh, but she's not buying it. Here, here, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Listen, 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 all right. You hear how, like, the Wii is turned on when I step on it? <laughs> he goes, ooh. Oh, Cody. You're a real big boy. Mega Gamer Man, thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, man, I got Gamecast and Great Owls. Thank you guys for the Prime subs and the regular subs and all these subs. Happy Sunday, everybody! Welcome to Pink Gorilla Games in Seattle, Washington, the best video game store to trade games into. Let me tell you, today was a day of trades non freaking stop. Unbelievable amount of trade ins today. Here's some of them. Here's more of them. There's more over there. Craziness all day long. Wow! <laughs> Uh, I'm really looking forward to the day off tomorrow, let me tell you, I am beat. <laughs> Get away. Thank you very much, but uh, thank you for the sub. And uh, say I can't, thank you for the prime sub. So, uh, everybody, let's get started. Uh, we're going to be working on processing the games here today. Um, we got a, a lot. So, Bura, thank you for the prime sub as well. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little out of sorts. Today was just a little bit of a 
a little mind blowing, I should say. <laughs> my mind is completely destroyed today, so I'm gonna try to relax. I got myself an apple juice and a bang, the the Cody combo, and uh, we'll we'll chill out and check out some really awesome games. I was gonna offer up some Watch open. Uh, I was going to offer up some open dibs on some games just because we have such an overwhelming amount of stuff here in the store that I feel like we're getting really, really backed up and uh, if we can just sell it straight to you if you want it uh, as opposed to running it through our computer and everything. That would be quite beneficial. So but uh, nice. that's up to y'all. Uh, Inendo, thank you for the big boy tier 3 sub. Thanks, dude. Um, let's see. Hey, how'd you guys like uh, coming to my house last night? Was that weird? Was that too invasive for you? I had a good time. We can learn how to make steaks together. Castlevania Order of Ec Ecclesia. Ecclesia. What the hell? Oh my god, that's an expensive game. Um, sorry, what's that? See you tomorrow night, big boy. What? Is that a threat? Um... Let's see here. Let's see. Ever get copies of DOA Extreme 3? I have gotten that before. Yeah, we had a nice house party last night. Pretty cool, right? You missed the cooking stream last night when you post your stuff. <laughs> What is it? Would you like to know? Inside of this mysterious box is a coffee cup. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm not a coffee drinker. Don't worry. I got an answer for that. Water. Thank you for your order. I'll be sure to ship this out immediately. Oh, I forgot your stickers almost. There you go. And let's ship it out. Yeah, water TM, exactly. Okay, who is our next order? Yeah, you've been streaming a while, right? And we've seen... Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. That was stupid. It did say 80 originally, by the way. Fuck! Hey, Kels, who am I? Hey, Kels, who am I? I don't know, it sounds like you. It's you. That's what you sound like. Uh, I should, I should do that look. Is this a, is this a good view? Is this a good view, guys? You tell me. That was sad. Why did I think I could do that one-handed? Look at that. What a sad cut. I'll show you how a man does it one-handed, alright? There you go. That's a one-handed chop. Have you ever seen this? Top Gun hard cock. Oh, lock. No line in the store. That would be cool. It's still early. All right. Hold on. I want to fire this Sharpie. Hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, no! All right, fuck it. Are they all from the same year? No, they're not. They're not. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Over here we have uh, 
the superstar bouncer of our store, Star Fox, Fox McCloud. What's up, Fox McCloud? Have anything to say? That's what I thought. Alrighty, off we go. Hope it up, bum bum. Wow. Two in here. Why? Are, oh, did I get two Animal Crossing? No, just a Zelda and an Animal Crossing. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> what the fuck? This is incredible. Dude. So many of the games are like very scratched. I have such high hopes for this, but it might be dashed because GameCube games are so- Oh my God, what? Sorry, I'm so hyped. <gasps> <laughs> I think we might be back on. Give me one sec, guys. This, it's. I'll tell you what it is. And frequent, uh, regular viewers will will know. Um, what it is is the neighborhood, dude. Uh, this is a great neighborhood in general, but the uh, infrastructure here for internet is really miserable. Uh, the cell phone reception, the. A lot of the buildings are older, so they don't have, like, you know, the option for modern, uh, internet, so pretty, pretty frustrating sometimes, but, uh, let's see here. Oh, almost done, everybody. I, I assume you can hear me now? Uh, almost done, almost done here. Just trying to make it more, uh, stable. Uh, can we all hear me? Yes? Cool. Thanks. Uh, I always carry a backup modem, as, as crazy as that might sound. Uh, but because I don't use it often, it's uh, it's a little slower to set up. Six. Almost done. I realize now the person who uh, sent the TTS that said, uh, See you tomorrow, big boy, is uh, obscuratory. See you tomorrow, too. Oh, boy, I hope I don't have too much to drink. Uh, I'll be watching The Bachelorette tomorrow. Uh, really looking forward to the season premiere. And, uh... Can't help yourself sometimes. Oh, my gosh. Why is this not working? Oh, hey. I'm here, by the way. What's up? Why is this not working? This is the craziest. Let's just reset this whole thing. Gross! What? Why? It's the best show ever. You just don't understand. Alright. Anyway, uh, so... Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to do some of that in the background. Uh, while we're working on this. Uh, so yeah, so we have a ton of games that were traded in, and that's what we're trying to work on, uh, right now. Let's see. Oh, is it working now? Yes, yes, okay, much more stable now. Yay, alright, we're fixed. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we got some pretty amazing DS games traded in, uh, New Super Mario Bros., Okami Den, apparently a $45 game now. Order of Eclesa. Anyone have a guess on the price of this Castlevania game? I'll tell you, it's uh... The answer may shock you. What? Oh, free pink gorilla plush is on pause? Why? What? Oh. There you go. Noodle neck, thank you very much. Thank you, yes. Ham and cheese, that's the recipe for my steak. Thank you for the sub, dude. And before the storm, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, so it's $150 now. Crazy, right? Uh, we got Spyro Dawn of Darkness. There we go. 
New Super Mario Bros. Hey, thanks, Vendetta. Whew. Hey, Samuel. Samuel stopped by today. Thanks, dude. Um, you got Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Dang, dude. That's a really spendy one now. There we go. Uh, Mario and Luigi, uh, Bowser's inside story. You literally, like, go around in Bowser's guts and fight, like, bacteria and stuff. You have some bags. Yeah, thanks, dude. I like those. Oh, no, look. This bag just ripped open. Whew. But anyway, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty overwhelmingly busy day today. Um, I was here with, uh, with newest girl. Second newest girl. I guess that's her new nickname, is second newest girl. Um, yeah, whoo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, was, it was non-stop. Crowds and crowds and crowds. Um, and even crazier was uh, all these trade-ins. Oh, wait, what? Their outfits say safety patrol. What? I was wondering about those guys. I saw them earlier, like, hanging out in the park because they were doing some kind of... Um, like, little mini festival thing. They had those guys in, like, uh, you know, the dragon outfits, and they're like, it looks cool, you know? It's like a choreographed thing. I was wondering what that's about. They're making me safe. Well, I don't feel any safer, but I don't feel any less safe, so. Uh... Oh, no kickflips with scissors in your... Yeah, smart, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if it's like the UDP. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, I trust whatever whatever the group, the, the business association here is doing, uh, I, I'm i for it. You got a blanket support from me, because they've been fantastic. Um, yeah, I think the I think the newest girl uh, works tomorrow. Uh, oh shit, okay, I got, sorry, my brain's all over the place. I apologize for my scrambled brain today. Um, it's just been a really incredibly busy day. Hard to keep up. Um, yeah, so we got in, uh, someone traded in some stuff at like the last minute today. And, uh, they, they fucking stole the most annoying thing to steal ever. They stole my, um, my AirPod case. So, you know, you know, you have these, like, AirPods that, um, what's it called? They need to be recharged, you know, because they're wireless headphones. So they stole them on their way out. Uh, I had them, like, right here, uh, right by the, the monitor. And they took them, and they were gone. But guess what? Joke's on them! Because check this out. They left behind an iPad. <laughs> They traded in, uh, they traded in some games, so I have their ID, and then they stole my fucking empty AirPods case, and then left an iPad that appears to be working. So. You got them on video? I do have them on video, yes. <laughs> yeah, Instant Karma. I guess, I guess I got the iPad. Uh, anyway, yeah, I know, right? It's just annoying. It's so annoying. <laughs> They'll come back for it. That would be, that would be a funny, awkward interaction, right? Uh, AirPods Pro via Find My. I, I don't know what all those words you just said mean, but I don't have the pros because uh, they hurt to sleep and wear. They're too, like, Sticking out on the side, you know. Alright, anyway. Let's see what else we have here. Boom. Oh, here's one of my favorites. Big Papa Coaster, it's me, Poster. What up, Poster? Listen, don't look behind you right now, but there are a few hoodlums in green vests. I heard they are. Thanks for looking to beat up the neighborhood superhero. Hey, right, sorry, guys. Oh, and thanks for the bonus yeah. from the stream last night. Sorry, I missed the last part of that, but... No, they, they didn't look like hoodlums. They looked very helpful. They looked friendly. Um, 
You don't have the iPod tracker on my phone? I don't care. I, what, am I going to go find those guys? I don't care. I'll just go get some new ones. It's, I got an iPad now. <laughs> like, I'm fine. I'm fine. But, plus, wait a minute. Wait. You can't, you can't track down an AirPod charging case, like, remotely, right? It would have to be within Bluetooth range of you, wouldn't it? You couldn't, like... Like, the, the AirPods don't have, like, a... Um, like a self, like a SIM card in them, you know? So there's no freaking way I could track that down. You can still track it? What? It's fine, it's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Shadowcast, thank you for the Prime sub. You ever just been so exhausted that you don't even care when something that valuable gets taken? You're just like, ah, yeah. <laughs> That's me right now. Vexation Station, thank you for the 18 months. Great Oz wants to dibs the tales of game. Unfortunately, you can't. These are all um, games I need for the store. But I do have some really exciting stuff I plan on showing off that you guys are welcome to dibs in a bit. Um, and it's really, really good stuff, too. I just, uh, we're just overwhelmed with things that were traded in, so. <sighs> Let's see here. Oof. <clears throat> I'm so nice to criminals? Uh, no, I don't mean to be. I just don't have time. I don't have time to go harass some, some goofballs. All right, nine 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 nine. Where are you, nine nine nine? There it is, fifty dollars. Wowzers! This is the reprint version of the game. I think it has a cooler cover than the other one. The other cover looks more like this. Oh, anyway. Who I got, Logan Paul or Floyd Mayweather? I would say Floyd Mayweather, knowing almost nothing about boxing. But I know that one of them is a, is a YouTuber, and the other one is a boxer, so. <clears throat> more and more creepers? What do you mean? Oh, the people stopping by? Yeah, we've had a surprising amount of people stopping by to, to come into the store late at night. Um, Japanese Tales of Tempest. Show all the plushies in the window. They're kind of the same ones you guys have seen before, you know? It's like uh, some Kirby's and... Oof. Um, pink Gorillas. It's all kind of the same stuff you've already seen. Check this out, though. I noticed this Tom Nook got completely fried by the sun. Not Tom Nook. Rossetti. Look at this. Super sun-faded Rossetti. Uh, the actual figure himself isn't sun-faded, but the paper is destroyed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, rip, rip the city, man. Alright. Alright, so these DS games aren't the most exciting. I was trying to do this a little bit earlier, but apparently, so. The way it works in the system, right, is, uh, is with our point of sale system is that there's one headquarters store that can make all the price changes and they can create new items in our system and things like that. Uh, and then the remote store can manually add new items into their inventory, but they can't change the prices of the items. Uh, and the reason for that is synchronicity. You know, you don't want one store to have a game priced differently than the other store. That's not a good look, right? So. Um, so, uh, blah, 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 blah. so we have to send any price changes based on games that are traded into the other store, and then they get back to us. Well, sometimes the other store is incredibly busy. In fact, most of the times it is. So uh, sometimes it doesn't happen in a timely manner. Um, so yeah, uh, right now I'm trying to process all these games through the system so we can put them out for sale and everything. Um, whew. But it's uh, it's a it's a lot. It's a lot. Hey, Blagler, nice to see you. 
You got the watch? Oh man, I contemplated buying that watch several times, Krauser, but isn't it super expensive? You can get a watch from zero, uh, or from 999. It was like a pre order bonus. Um, but it's, it's super expensive if I remember right. Sorry, Mido, Dad, and Light. What did I miss? What? Oh, Mido, Dad. <laughs> uh, what did you miss? Uh, I was just showing off some new games that were traded in, like FIFA Soccer 09 for the DS. I know you're all really thrilled about that one. But look, they're not all as boring as this. Henry FC, if he's here, he's excited about this one. Okay, guys? Uh, hey Mika, how's business doing? It's doing too good. It's <laughs> it's doing too good. I'm we need, we need to relax. Yeah, we need a break. <laughs> we need to close down for a couple days. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we have major processing to do tonight. Oh, oh yeah, is the stubs here? I found something hilarious when um when I was cleaning up here. So I noticed a big fat pile of games sitting up there, right? And I was like, oh, what's the deal with this? What's going on? Uh, well, here I find this stack of games, rubber banded that says The Stubs. You guys might remember this. I think The Stubs did this several weeks ago. Games like Adventures of Cookies and Cream and Jackass. Uh, yeah, apparently I just forgot it here. So, whoops, I'll get you an invoice for that soon. <laughs> Sorry, Stubbs. Uh, yeah, I remember specifically the Disney My Kitchen game. That's a funny one. Apple juice. All right, here's a little bit more exciting than FIFA. We got Kirby Superstar Ultra. Oh my god, this is great. Wait, wait, wait. Is that price right? It says $25. Okay, that's still accurate. I'm just shocked to see a good game priced reasonably. You know what I mean? Nowadays, like, everything is just out of control. Too damn high. <sighs> Right? That's shocking. <laughs> uh. Alright, so the DS games are cool and all, but what I'm most excited about are the 3DS games. And speaking of shocking prices, some of these were just insane, dude. Like, Oh, karaoke place popping tonight? I don't know, they are open. It is a Sunday, though. Ah... I don't think it's gonna be too crazy. We'll see. Um, there we are. FIFA Soccer 06. Whoops. That barcode didn't scan. Um, but yeah, I have a two giant stacks of 3DS games back here. Um, oh, what? We don't have an item for this? Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you buy the game back at that price? Oh, no, we don't pay $25 for this Kirby we sell for $25. If we did that, I don't think that we could afford to have the store be open. Um, working in Maryland this week, King of Russia stores post... Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, sounds good, Leadfoot. Uh, CIB. Uh, CIB stands for Complete in Box. PAL is uh, referencing the European region. It's specifically like a TV standard over there, right? Um, but, uh, but people just kind of use it interchangeably to mean European. Uh. Alright. Here we have uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Phase-altering line. There you go. Uh, 
Eshnog, thank you for the follow. Welcome. This into the system. And Final Fantasy 3. And Radiant Historia, which I fear the price on this one. Because the remake of it uh, we got on the 3DS, and that one's like a hundred bucks. So what's the original? Oops, 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 oops. oops. It's funny, because this game dropped in price drastically. This used to be, like, the holy grail of 3DS games. Um, and then they reprinted it, and it got way cheap again. Um, yeah, yeah, It's apparently it's not very expensive anymore. Radiant Historia. It's not even a rare case game anymore, actually. But apparently the remake of it is. It's continuing the legacy of it being an expensive game. What do you know? Um, is it super good? I never got around to playing it. Well, actually, no. I remember I tried to play it, actually, and... Uh, I think I didn't have the time to commit to it because I was just like, it's not, it hasn't immediately roped me. I'm done. Multiple endings? I think that's exactly what the game is known for, is having like too many damn endings. Is it a class system in the computer that indicates it's a rare game? Uh, no. What do you mean? Like, how do we determine what we put in the rare case? The price. If it's expensive, it goes in the rare case. Alright, so, next up. Oh. I went to like bend over and pick up some person's uh, trade in, and my back like hit me so hard I couldn't go back up. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have reached that point of uh, elderliness yet, but I just did. We got all stickers for these guys. Uh, I'll get around to Radiant Historia one day, I'm sure. Maybe. Right now what I'm waiting on is a new battery for my 3DX. Mine had exploded um, sitting around so long, so... Hurry up, print. Alright, there we go. We got all these stickers. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, my 3DS battery exploded. It got really bulged out and it doesn't work anymore. Um, so I gotta get a new one, but the people we usually order those from uh, don't have any. So, eh, we'll see. Hopefully I can get one sooner or later. Uh, this is an older location tactile. This store is 16 years old. The original, the OG. Alright, you guys wait till you see this uh, 3DS thing. It is bananas. There it is. Nine, nine, nine. Ta-da! Should I make a rare case pile over here? 
Oh. Alright, Mario and Luigi Bowser's inside the store. Legend of Spyro, New Beginning. Mm -hmm. So, what's that? Flexo, thank you for the Prime sub, buddy. There we go. New Super Mario Bros. Okami Den. Castlevania. Sonic Colors. Super Mario DS. Forty-five and one fifty. Whew. All right. Okay. All right. So now that we're all warmed up, everybody, we gotta we gotta start on our processing for tonight. Why don't we take a look around the store? <clears throat> see what's new, see what's old. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And then I'll show off the uh, the rest of the big boy trade in that came in. Alright. Alright, follow me! Right this way, everybody. Oh, uh. This might take a minute, actually. Just put my backpack back together. Ah! Damn it! Hold on. I got an email. Ah! Every single month. the modem companies I pay for. Uh, the modem stops working every single month. And then uh, I have to email them and say, hey, it stopped working again for the fucking 20th month in a row. And then they fix it in like a couple days. Very annoying. Uh, Alright. Let's take a quick little uh, stroll through the store, everybody. Welcome, welcome all. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Somebody really messed up these books. What? How did they get so messed up? This is hard to do one-handed. Oh my gosh, okay. I will I'll fix those later. It's, it's too hard to do all this one-handed. Um, let's see, what do we got for handhelds? Hey, we got a Vita. 3DS system, a Vita, a couple switches. None of the retro stuff, just the modern stuff. Got a good selection of PS4 games right now. This is what we processed earlier today, was a lot of the um, original PlayStation games. Oh, Final Doom. I forgot that was the thing. Shockingly, we have a Pokemon Diamond right now. <laughs> and a Pokemon Ruby. Oh yeah, someone bought our big ol' uh, Samuel bought our big ol' fight stick today. Let's see if I have my keys accessible. You can see what the console case looks like. Ugh. 
I feel like the store is not in the greatest shape right now. Um, cause sales were pretty crazy today. Now we're trying to catch up on all that. Yeah, we got a 64 system. Uh, in the original box, couple systems, NES console. Why is it 10% off? Um, yeah, Wii U. Turbo Graphics has been here a really long time. <laughs> Our Jaguar CDs that nobody wants. Whew. Yeah, busy, busy day. Oh my gosh. Is it really? Liar Princess and the Blind Prince? Is that for PS4? Dude, that game has been here like a hundred years. Neo Mecha Sonic is yours. I assume that's who you were. Who else would say Nido Gang? Nido Gang is just Neo Mecha Sonic. You got it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, the Jaguar, yeah, it's... Look, we sold one before. Someone bought one once. So, you know, it'll happen again someday. Alright, I assume that was Neo Mecha Sonic. It is Neo Mecha Sonic. You got it, mister. Thank you very much. Whew! Alright, let's see what else we got here. So... We got a big fat pile of 3DS games. Some uh, boring, some a little bit more exciting. See, let's, let's uh, get these all processed. Oh. The collector will snipe? Well, I certainly hope so, but they haven't come through recently. That's okay. I don't mind having something weird like that that people can comment on. Yeah. All right. So we got Monster Hunter Three Ultimate. Oh. Monster Hunter Three Ultimate. Monster Hunter Generations. FIFA 12 Soccer. Oop, this guy's got a sticker on his butt. Let's get... I think this one's going to require you gun. These stickers, whoever they come from, someplace in Tacoma, I'm not sure. But they, uh, these stickers do not come off easy. They're small, which is nice. We everything. Raw, not sloppy, boy, size up. <laughs> yeah, Neo Mecha again, I knew it. Um, yeah, so the stickers are small at least, which is nice, but besides that, they are uh, they are a huge pain in the butt to come off. Uh, so here we are, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Uh, what does this go for? $100! Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. I swear, that little jerk just follows me around and poops. I go into the computer room, he'll fly, land on the monitor, and then poop down the front of the monitor. I'm like, oh great. So then I leave the computer room, go into the living room, he flies out there, lands on the couch, poops on the couch. I'm like, oh, alright, thank you, Mita. I'll just follow you around and... Or you follow me around and I'll just, yeah, I'll clean all the poop for you. Uh, there you go, Shin Megami Tensei Apocalypse. He's a bad boy. All right, next up we got Shin Megami Tensei 4. Um, people have been asking about these, like, a lot. A lot more than, uh, than normal. People will call into the store and just say, Hey, do you have any Shin Megami Tensei games? Like, uh, oh boy, okay. Uh, let's narrow it down at all. I should follow him around and poop. Yeah, we'll see what he thinks about that. Go. All right. 
Ultimate NES Remix. This is a sealed copy, so normal ass sealed price, twenty bucks. Uh, yeah, DS stuff has become really rare. You know, it, it's the trend, uh, especially just Nintendo. Nintendo stuff in general is always. Um, um, oh, it's actually it's less than twenty bucks. It's uh, sixteen. Um, yeah, Nintendo stuff always kind of loops around to be much more valuable than when it came out. That's that's the way. Got it, and got it. Ta-da! Uh, let's see, we got Fire Emblem Warriors here. Wait, what? Target clearance is at Apocalypse at four bucks? Someone had... What? That's crazy. Alright, there we go. Fire Emblem Warriors for the new 3DS. I think... I think, yeah, this is a new 3DS exclusive game. There's not a lot of those. And I will say, it's just hilarious how uh, Nintendo went from going like, alright, Fire Emblem Awakening, maybe our last Fire Emblem ever, I don't know how the series is working on in America, to putting out this. Dude, this is like the laziest shit I've played in my entire life. Did anyone else play Fire Emblem Warriors? <laughs> Like, there was, like, one enemy in the entire game, and it was, like, a recolored, just generic soldier. It was incredible. And then it just kind of suddenly ended. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, it also did not run very well, yeah. I kind of forget about that. I'm not as, uh... fussy about the how well games run, as opposed to just how fun they are. You can tell all the effort went into the uh, to the Zelda games, the Zelda Dynasty Warriors games, as opposed to that one. That's how you feel about Hyrule Warriors? Oh, what, that it was terrible? I can understand not being into it, but they certainly put a lot of effort into those games. Holy crap. <laughs> There's so much content in those games. <sighs> Alright, Paper Mario Sticker Star. This is the one that uh, nobody likes except for me. I thought it was pretty fun, I thought it was pretty charming. It is the cheapest Paper Mario game in the series. You know, it's not, it's not really a Paper Mario game as much. Um, there we go. Triforce Heroes. This one was pretty fun too, but again, like, kind of a subpar Zelda game, I guess. We had, a, we had like one or two meetups here at the store uh, for people to play this game together. And that was really fun, but I think it's kind of hard to... If you can get together in person with people and play this, you're going to have a good time, but uh, online maybe not as much. Uh, I am not keeping these for my collection. I will probably keep a couple of them for my collection, but uh, but yeah, this is... Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Metroid Samus Returns. Ooh, just barely edging itself into the rare case. This is a $40 game. Normally, I probably wouldn't put this one in the rare case, but because we have so many games uh, being hung up on our wall, I'm going to go ahead and just put it there anyway. Um, just because we're kind of running out of room uh, to put normal games. Uh, Etrian Odyssey 5! Woo! And that's a big boy one. Came by the 90s store and you got a bunch of 64 games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. It was crazy. That guy was trading in a bunch of um, Brazilian 64 games, uh, which are pretty pretty uncommon, um, but also like kind of 
not something people are into at all. <laughs> uh, here we have uh, Final Fantasy Explorers. This is Final Fantasy's take on Monster Hunter. Uh, it's, it's pretty alright. Oh yeah, right, November? I was just thinking about that today, dude. There's, I don't know if we're getting another <laughs> entry in Odyssey game ever, right? The last one was all the way back, um, back on, uh, whatever. Sorry. I'm totally wiped. Uh, it was all the way back on the 3DS, so. Uh, no, we did not get Brazilian 64 games. That's what I said, actually. Hey, Ocarina of Time. You'll buy them? Well, he said no to the quote, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably quoted him too low, honestly, just because, like, the Brazilian 64 games is like, dude, people are just gonna think they're fake, nobody's gonna want to buy this shit, um, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, alright, so, let's see, oh, oh we got more. Oh, alright, even more 3DS games, folks. Uh, we got uh, uh, Super Mario 3D Land. I haven't seen this many 3DS games come in in forever. Um, yeah, price charting is a helpful reference, absolutely. Uh, yeah, some 3DS games will take over to the U District store. We're gonna make sure this store has a really, really, like, perfect wall, and then a good back stock, and then anything else. I don't you really like taking things away from this store, just because this store does so well at, um, selling things. Uh, people come here to buy a lot. Um, oops. People don't come here to sell as much, it seems, as at the U District store. Or rather, we just get a lot more trade-ins at the district store. So I like to keep everything here, if possible. Ugh. Do you do deals? Uh, I sell games all the time. I'm not sure what you're asking, Hines. You have to be more specific. I think every one of these is a deal, because it's a good price. Alright. Yoshi, new Yoshi's Island. This one got miserable reviews, I remember. <sighs> one of the few 3DS games I didn't pick up. Do I have a website? I do, but we don't sell video games through our website. Boop. Hmm. You might have heard of my website. It's uh, facebook.com. I started that back with my friend Mark in college. Um... But I'm not really into it. I think video games are much more fun than, you know, Farmville and whatever crap Mark's putting out on there. Uh, have you played Ocarina of Time? Who hasn't played Ocarina of Time? Uh, no, it's not my favorite Zelda, though. Because, uh, what's it called? Breath of the Wild came out, and that's the best game ever. Not just the best Zelda, it's the best game. All right, we got New Yoshi's Island. Favorite 3DS game? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say Virtue's Last Reward. This is right here. It's a good one. All right, New Yoshi's Island. There you are. Madden NFL Football. This game used to be very, 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 very expensive. Uh, not at all anymore. Seems everyone's gotten over it, I guess. But uh, this used to be like the expensive 3DS game at $40. Now it is only $16. I wonder if they reprinted it or just people just didn't care anymore. Here it is. Virtue's Last Reward. 
Yeah, this is the sequel to 999, and it is, I would say, better in every single way imaginable. Uh, but 999's great, too. Most underrated console in game? I don't know, man. I'd say underrated console would be the 3DS. Uh, I think a lot of people don't realize that, um, you know, especially all the first party games on there are like the best of those first party games. Like, you know, best Mario Party, best. Um, Etc. Sorry, I'm very exhausted. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, everyone. Um, yeah, yeah, 3DS is great. Ooh. It seems like nearly everything put out on there by Nintendo is, like, really fantastic. Oh, all right. Oh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Yeah, that's the ultimate underrated game, dude. That's one of the best games ever made. It is incredible. It really makes me wish that Sakurai could do something besides Smash Bros. Yeah, well, that's obviously not enough units, Dragon D Ace. It should have sold uh, 75 trillion units. Every household should have several 3DS systems. Just in case. Oh. Alright, this, uh, this is the last in the trilogy of 999. Zero Time Dilemma. Whew. He did Meteos? That was Sakurai? I thought that was uh, Miyamoto. Meteos doesn't suck. Oh, no, Stash of Games, it originally launched on 3DS and Vita. I didn't even know it came out on PS4. Yeah. Hey, Thanks for the sub, Whiskey Tomo. Here we have Bravely Default. Mm. Bravely Default 3DS is... Oh, into the rare case with you. Oh, dude. Hey, Black Blair, I have an anime question for you. We got this game traded in called Food Girls. So are all these girls, like, different food? Like, these girls look like dumplings, right? Because they have dumpling hair. Uh, I don't know about this girl. This girl looks like graham crackers. I don't know. There's chicken. This girl has like a mint and cow legs. Maybe I don't want to know anymore. But, uh... Yeah. What's up with Food Girls? We got a game called Food Girls. <laughs> that has English on it? Oh yeah, but what is it? You're basically helping food stands. Oh, okay. I assumed it was like Hyperdimension Neptunia, where like each girl, you know, in Hyperdimension Neptunia, each girl is like a different video game console. I thought each girl is like a food, you know? I don't know. Anime is weird. I don't think my assumption was crazy. <laughs> yeah, they have a tank, some battleship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's happened before. You can say. <sighs> All right, uh, here we have a game called uh, Alliance Alive.
Oh my goodness. Uh, Mario Party Island Tour. This one was pretty fun. They kept doing that annoying thing where you guys are all like traveling together. Uh, but besides that, this one was a whole lot of fun. Um, it's got some sticky on it. You know, the 3DS has a lot going on with like the motion controls and the uh, microphone and the touch screen, so you can do a whole lot with the um, uh, with mini games, you know. Oh my god, is that already 8.30? My brain is completely fried tonight, guys. Whew, okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. Mario Party Island Tour. Process. Sonic Lost World. Dibs on the whole store. I don't think so, but... Dude, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. A WarioWare game, it seems like, um, perfect with the Joy-Cons, exactly like what you're saying, you know, they, I remember when they announced the Switch, that guy, the Mario Odyssey guy was like, yo, look at these Joy-Cons, they got all this technology in it, look at this, you can turn the Joy-Con and it's like, you can count ice cubes in a glass, it's amazing, and then they didn't do anything with it at all, just one, two, Switch, no one else did anything with it, right? Thanks, little Crash, appreciate it, dude. Um... Yeah. You black out the sky with Nightbot. Is the is the bright lights behind me annoying? Don't we have light blocking drapes? Us? No. We like it when it's bright in here. It's probably not good for the camera, but uh, tease the rare case. I'll show the rare case. Did we not? Did I not show the rare case? I thought I did earlier, actually. Flaw NC, we don't talk about that here because I am a huge Bayonetta fan after Bayonetta 2. Anyone would be. And I'm very annoyed that we have gotten no Bayonetta 3 news in like a hundred years. Whew. Alright, this guy's gonna need some goo gun. Alright, I've heard this song too much. Every single time I work with Lucky, he plays that song. And it's just a little too repetitive for me to enjoy still. Let's see here. Alright. Let's see here. Oh! Mahjong Quest is missing the game! What the hell? I didn't know that. Well, shit. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Legend of Legacy for the 3DS. Almost done with this pile. Uh, hope day's treating me well. Yeah, it's a good day, man. It's a very good day. It's a busy day. We do, we do buy just empty cases, yes. Good for pairing games in the future, but we don't pay very much for them because, you know, they take up a lot of space and they're not very valuable, generally speaking. And we just, yeah, we got enough shit going on, you know. Uh... Yeah, I did figure out the missing PS2 games. It was it was no problem at all, actually. It was just a coincidence. It's, it's too much to explain, honestly. Um, but yeah, there's no issues at all. We're perfectly fine. Hey, here's a pretty rare one. This is one of the last 3DS games that ever came out. Uh, Persona Q2. Shadow of the Labyrinth. Uh, can you buy empty games? restore? Uh, yeah, sure, except not right now. I've got too much going on right now, but occasionally you're welcome to email me, empty caseless. However, if you did so now, I wouldn't respond ever, because it's too busy. 
Um, but yeah, I'll probably post on the Pink Gorilla Twitter if we need any, if anybody, uh... I cannot fucking think today. I cannot focus long enough to keep a sentence together. Jeez, dude. Oh, my God. I think you know what I was going for there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whew, man. Damn, today was quite the day. Um, just the combo of today and yesterday just killed me. Need Q2. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's um, the soundtrack bundle, yeah. You might be able to find that. We've had that a couple times. Hmm. Everyone in Seattle drink coffee. Um, I don't think so. I don't drink coffee, so there's one person at least. There's probably some others like me, but I don't know for sure. Okay, Link Between Worlds. Oh, uh, what else we got here? Uh, oh, hey, last game here to process. And, of course, it's got a bunch of goo on it, so... It's gonna be a rest for a minute. But it's, uh, Fireball Awakening. I, I really enjoyed this one. I heard after this one, the game started getting a little more focused on waifus. Which I didn't even really know was much of a thing in that one. Maybe I was playing the game wrong, but... Alright, fellas. Mm. Okay, I was going to open up uh, dibs if anybody wanted them on a giant pile of stuff we got here. Just because we are so swamped with stuff to process from the store. It's just, it's killing me. So, uh, I was just going to offer it up to any of you fine folks if you want. Um, I'll just do a quick little run through so you can see. Kelsey, please relax. It's, oh my god, Kelsey. Oh my gosh. Kelsey, please. I really need a break. Please, God. I won't piss you off. Uh. Case. No, you you misunderstand greatly. So the rare case, for example, wouldn't be eligible because what what I'm trying to express is that we've got so much stuff that's come in and it's so overwhelming that I'm just like, okay, I just want to sell it so I don't have to run through the computer. You know, I can just sell it straight to you guys. Um, but don't worry, Kelsey, it's not every single item. I do know what the store needs. But the items that are already processed through the store, I wasn't trying to get rid of. I'm trying to alleviate the processing time. Um, I don't have a date for the road trip yet. No, no. Kelsey's going to help me uh, get that set up because I did a bad job the last couple every time. All right, so... Oh. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we have here, folks. We got some real oddball stuff, and you guys are totally welcome to to dibs on this if you like. Um, I'm gonna start with the strangest thing. I don't even know exactly what it is. Hmm. Let's take a look, everyone. Yeah, mystery box here. It's called. Reverie Sweet A's Edition. And it appears to be a yo-yo? Oh, dude, is this one of those hardcore yo-yos? We have a hardcore yo-yo. <laughs> yeah, there's a little string in here, too. It says Reverie Sweet A's Edition. And it's a hardcore yo-yo. <laughs> Does anyone want a hardcore yo-yo? Uh, King of Apoc does. So not go with the collector's edition. Uh, I didn't see a collector's edition for that game in here. 
Whoa! I don't know if I could show that one on Twitch. Whew! It was just kind of out on its own, Kels. Kels, me? We have that one in the trade. Oh my god, Kels, why are you here, Breeze? Please stop. I don't... I didn't see it in here. I was looking through it earlier. Um... Oh. This? So, we need to include this with it? It doesn't say this is included in it. It says this edition contains numbered certificate, soundtrack, CD, world map, and the game. Uh, I think this is just a bonus separate thing. Uh, oh, okay, Kelsey wants to keep these together. Okay, great. Thank you, Kelsey. Uh, Alright, sorry, King of Apoc. Um, if you want, we do have the whole thing together. Uh, yeah, probably a website extra, I guess. Kelsey needs to get on stream. <laughs> yeah, that's probably really helpful. Um, Yo-Yo came with the East Asia Soft website version, looks like. Oh, neat. Okay, cool. Uh, I will just put that, I guess, over here. Alright, well, let's see... Um, alright, this seems like this isn't working out, so let's just do something else. Um, alright, we got all these 3DS games we need to process through the system. another location. Yeah, welcome to the International District Store, Starby. Yeah, this is the first location. Opened 16 years ago. Uh, yeah, welcome. Alright, so we got this game traded in. 7th Code 3 Code... Wait, 7th Dragon 3 Code VFD. There you go. Well, as Stella Glow, whoa, what's going on with these ladies on the back? <sighs> I'm getting lucky with the stickers so far. Whoa. Did you see a rare case yet? Yeah, I showed it at the beginning of the stream. Alright, next up is Hyrule Warriors Legends. Seems like each and every one of these games was bought at GameStop. Because <laughs> they all have the GameStop sticker. Lucky for me, they peel off pretty easy most of the time. Just occasionally it's like a real pain, but... Dream Team. Ugh. This the newish store? No, actually it's the oldest store. Welcome. Whew. 
What have I been doing in my downtime? Nothing, dude. It's been it's been busy. It's been crazy. Uh, I don't have much time. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have any downtime. <laughs> I've just been here. Um, all right. Cause, cause it's just the trade-ins just are not stopping. It's, it's crazy. Uh, did Cody buy both locations? Yeah, I did. Um, I bought the whole company at once, um, and I bought it. Whew. Yeah, I kind of work in my downtime. I always go home and clean games, actually. Alright, here we got Brunswick Pro Bowling. Ooh, brand new game we've never had before. What's this one? Lord of Magna Made in Heaven. I'm sorry, sorry. Kelsey said no to the dibs, folks. Apologies. Uh, it's a marvelous game. Is it? I haven't played it. But it was only $10 at GameStop, and I don't think it's much more now, so... She said it was okay? Well, then why did she fucking... Stop us entirely and kill all my already poor mood. Um, oh, it was for power, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Alright, let's... <sighs> Alright, let's see, what does this one go for? Uh, $30 now for Lord of Magna. How's the subathon? Man, it was crazy. Thanks everyone for coming out to that. That was something else. Whew, I do not have the energy for such a thing. Oh. So, Lord of Magna, Made in Heaven, now cleaned up. Uh, yeah, this store does have a rare case. I showed it off at the beginning of the stream. Everyone's asking about the rare case again. I guess I have to show it off again. But yeah, we showed it off at the beginning. <sighs> really, Infinite Dumplings? That's crazy. I feel like we're here um, once every two weeks. Is that an exaggeration? you guys the rare case again, but no more showing off the rare case randomly tonight, alright? Here we are. Welcome to the rare case again. Code Lyoko? I didn't know that was a... Uh, well, I didn't know that was a game at all, really.
Yeah, that's the collector's edition Ryza. Super, super spendy, super rare. I never noticed on Vagrant Story, uh, the coworker today was pointing out that this guy's full butt is showing off right under the T on Vagrant Story. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, next up we have an incredibly expensive game now. Uh, Dragon Quest VIII. Whew, $130 now for this guy. Crazy. <sighs> Uh, Blind Noir, thank you very much for the 26 months, dude. Thanks, Blind Noir. Yeah, 130, right? Crazy. There's, it's, it gets even crazier. Hold on. Let me find it. Uh, actually, I think it's in another pile. Um, but it's Dragon Quest V on the original DS. Uh, I think that one's like over $200. What the hell? Dragon Quest finally, finally got popular. I was telling the story about there's this guy um, in the area who shops at the stores actually, who's like, um, he's super into Dragon Quest, right? Um, so, I think, I think he or like a group of people related to him even had a booth at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo that was just promoting Dragon Quest. Like, they weren't trying to sell anything. They're just like, hey, everyone, we really love this game. I think you should give it a shot. Like, it's it's so funny. Um, uh, I think they just really love the game, and they're like, well, we, we need America to catch on so that we can start getting all the games, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I think I remember meeting this person a couple times back at the old Bellevue store, but yeah, I, li I like the passion. But I think it finally, finally, finally happened. Their mission is complete, and Dragon Quest is uh, a big boy game in America now. All right. And now all the games retroactively are uh, quite valuable. Uh, okay, cool. So I think Kelsey left now, so we can... Um, no, she didn't. What the fuck? That she was going. Never mind. All right. So uh, let's see. All right. Next up, we got Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy. This is the last game we got from Professor Layton. We got the uh, Layton Catriel Mystery, whatever. I forget what it's called. Um. But that game, that game was not as good, dude. It was, it was all talk, not enough puzzles. Uh, let's see. That's the last one you need. Well, unfortunately for you, Vendetta, it is now incredibly expensive. Ninety dollars. Ah. Oh my god. This guy too, Kirby Planet Robobot. I think this one went crazy. Hold on, let's see. Oh, 45. I guess that's not totally crazy. But dude, I thought this game honestly was boring as shit. I like the Kirby games, but this one was like the slowest Kirby game on the ever. Yeah, everybody loves this one. I feel like I must be wrong. But I got bored as hell with this guy.
Yeah, yeah, Triple Deluxe was great, Arms. I love Triple Deluxe. Great game. Robobot? Oh my god. Oh shit! 25 new and classic abilities. There's Dr. Kirby, everyone. Do you think Dr. Kirby came from Robobot? I don't remember him ever in another game. Is that where Dr. Kirby's from? Well, at least we got that. Of all things. Dr. Kirby is the best Kirby. Um, Yeah, right, where did Gun Kirby come from? Uh, let's see. Alright. Thanks a lot. If you would have just kept your mouth shut, I would have eaten in peace. Hands up! Just kidding, bro. You're cool. Hands up, though! No, for real, though. I think you're pretty cool. Just kidding. Give me that weed. Just kidding. Bro. I'm just kidding. Come pass over that wallet. Just kidding. Man, come on. Come on. Y'all know we're homies. Yo! On your knees. Man, come on, man. We're just joking around. But wait a minute. Pass over them bits. Just kidding. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Subs now or die. Just, I'm just fucking kidding, bro. I'm just joking around. But seriously, though, them subs, I'll take them. Thank you very much. <laughs> One second. Subs. All right. That was all of them. That's all we got. So after you remove the pin connector... Whoa. Dude, I just... Whoa. I thought I... <laughs> I just, like, hallucinated or something. I thought I saw someone right there. That was fucking weird. Um, anyway, uh, it's good to clean Twitch. If people are wrestling fans, I'm sure they would appreciate what? If you showed them what pro wrestling games you have. Yeah, we'll do that. Also, I'm going to do a pro wrestling move on Fox. That's called a pile driver. Uh, what if we just have like an interpretive dance? Because what am I going to use that for? <laughs> Hey, Grummy. Grummy? Whoa, whoa, hi. Hey, what's up? Oh, okay. Okay, all right. What? Okay. Oh, there you go. You remember now. Genius. We'll talk about shit to show off. And, uh, you guys love this. This is a great, great clip. Chicken! Chicken XO! Thanks for the soap! Twitch Prime! Thanks for the sub, chicken! I can't believe how much we sold today. It's amazing. Wait, who's this? Who's. Who's. Who's is this? Uh. Can't touch any of this stuff. Oh, that's yours? Can't touch any of this stuff wise. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this yeah. is my booth. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> I was just mentioning, I was like, oh, I wonder whose that is. I appreciate your being on top of it, though, honestly. Um, hey, Mito. Wait, you, need your, you need your phone. Oh, oh yeah. Phone. You're about to oh, leave God, where is he? any phone. Mito? Oh, shit, there he is. <laughs> God, oh, shit. He's gonna fly down. <laughs> Mito. It's a short table. Are we putting this towards them? Pog! This, look at this table, guys! It says Pog on it! What? It's a Pog table, can you see that? Whoa, Pog! That was very awkward. I was doing some very sexual moves that were... I didn't know Code Lyoko came out on PS2, as well as... Oh, what the fuck? Why is it? Whoa! No! Ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, why does it smell so bad? It's a secret. It's a secret. Ah, oh, what the fuck? It's a secret GameCube game inside. But, ah, what the hell? 
Sir Jim, thanks for the follow. Latensified, thanks for the follow. Rona Corona, Richard did it, thanks for the follow. Mad Dog Thousand and One, thanks for the follow. Welcome, guys. Um, I gotta pop out this. Onichan, thanks for the follow. All right, who's it gonna be? And it's Daryl's son, Mime Jr. Wow. Uh, Kelsey, it's a spicy pepperoni. Thank you. Remind me at 1 a.m. to check out Dick's. Okay, your reminder is set for tomorrow at 1 a.m. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, check this guy out. Let's write down a goal. Thanks for the soap! <laughs> like, literally, OMG, my pee pee is tiny. Ah! So far, we're mostly getting just words. Like this, this here, hold on. These are great words here. Hold on, what does this all say? Hello everybody. Oh my goodness. We sure have problems tonight, don't we? Every couple of seconds something's coming up, huh? Can't sell games, can't even stream, can't do anything. My goodness, what a night. Um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, we are working on... What were we doing? Processing 3DS games, that's right. Um, sell plushies? No, 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 I can't. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, Monster Hunter Stories, now available. Wowzers. I also think that the scanner broke. It, like, is very picky suddenly. It suddenly became extremely picky on, like, what it would, uh, what it would accept. Hey, that's kind of weird. So this has the manual for the DS version of the game inside of the 3DS game. Weird. <sighs> uh, favorite RPG? Uh, what is my favorite RPG? Uh, the Etrian Odyssey series, I like that. Skyrim, does that count? Yeah, all oh, that's good. There we go. Uh, Fire Emblem Echoes. Here we are. Fire Emblem Echoes here. Ooh, ooh. 
Oh, here we got a, uh, one that was really cool when it came out for like a short amount of time. Heroes of Ruin. So this game plays just like Diablo. Um, and you can play it online with four people. And it had voice chat just built in. All on your 3DS. It was like pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, this game was a ton of fun. What did I do to my back that keeps bothering me? Uh, I got older. There we go. I know, the, it always surprises people when, um, when uh, I stream from here, because the sun doesn't go down until, yeah, like now, like nine. Yep, the sun is out, indeed. Yeah, yeah, I did the same thing, Crowds of Zero. Gunslinger was way overpowered on this. I wonder if they're closing the karaoke place. They've been making, like, so much noise over there. A lot of banging around and stuff. Uh, maybe they're closing it all up. Oh, all right. Here's a ruin. There it is. Try to clean this up. Massage me to go away. Maybe I'll do that. charts. Next, oh boy, talked about this one earlier. We got the big boy here. Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Uh, if I remember right, this has a little bit of added stuff, doesn't it? Mm, maybe not. They added cutscenes, I think? But yeah, this one goes for crazy amount. No eggs, Blake. Let's see. Now has the true ending. Oh, really? That's stupid. So if you bought the original game, you can't even get the true ending? What? What kind of BS is that? That just sounds like a trick to make you buy the new game. Hey, Hetty. Yeah, yeah, Kelsey and I own it together. Um, yeah. Oh, a new true ending. Ooh, fancy, okay. Let's get, I get it, marketing she keeps you low? What does that mean? Marketing she keeps you low. I don't understand. Uh, let's see. Is this a different store? It is, yes. Welcome to the International District Store. This is our first location. Uh, opened 16 years ago. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh. Alright. Uh, next up we got Etrian Odyssey Untold. This is a remake of the original Etrian Odyssey with the new engine they used in the uh, Etrian Odyssey 4. The phone just keeps flipping off constantly.
Uh, she just says she's the owner? Oh, no. So, uh, Metal Jesus always says this is a co-owner of the store, actually. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I understand why it's confusing, I guess. But, whatever. Um. Alright. Etrian Odyssey Untold. Oops. That actually goes into the rare case. Etrian Mystery Dungeon. Let's get the stickers off. Oh, whoops, I scanned that in twice, huh? YouTubers don't care about <coughs> Twitch. I think they do. They all come over here. They all come over here sooner or later. I've seen them. Oh, wait. This doesn't go in a bag either. Twitch is hard, though. Sometimes. Whoa, busted! But sometimes you just don't have the energy, like today. <laughs> I don't have the energy. Uh, Alright, so uh, I think we have a couple of personal shopping sessions. Oh, Steph raided. Hey, Steph, thanks for raiding with the, the Muffin Gang. Uh, welcome in, everybody. We have Ethan Turtle was doing a personal shopping session, and who else here? Uh, in Indo 2000. All right, let's do it, guys. Uh, Twin Girls Dad, thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, Inindo! Alright, I think you're up first, Inindo. Let's do this. Oh, alright. I got scissors, I got keys, I guess we're ready. Alright, so in case you're in the dark, uh, we're doing a five minute personal shopping session. So, our store, Pink Gorilla Games, does not sell video games online. That's a long story. I'd be not happy to tell you about it after this personal shopping session. But the one weird way we do sell online is uh, what we're doing right now. Save up 50,000 channel points by watching this Twitch stream, and then you can shop anything you like in the store for five minutes. And Nendo's going to do that right now, so let's get started. Set timer for five minutes. All right, Anindo, you're on. What can I get for you, sir? Rare case. All right. Here we go. Anything already catch your eye, dude? Sonic 3 in Maximum Carnage. You got it. You like that nice red cartridge? Oh wait, it's not red on the Genesis? What? That's a shame. Oh, 
All right, anything else for you, Nintendo? Here we got a Pebbles game. Ratchet and Clank collection, yes sir. Other glass case, sure thing. Welcome to the other glass case. Box Genesis, sure. Yeah, House and Hippo. We actually have a lot more Amiibo. It's just, again, a matter of processing them. Uh, F-22. You got it, Nindo. New Switch. Well, all of our new Switch games were stolen from us when someone broke in and stole all of them, so... We don't have the best selection right now. I'm hoping by Tuesday we'll have a good, um, nice full selection again. Mm. Don't have much for used either, but that's more of a matter of, uh, they're popular. <laughs> we do got food girls though. GBA, yes. Yes, Egg, my back is hurting. All right, there's the timer. Whew. Seems like an odd thing to go for. Uh, definitely not. Now, there's a reason why I order them. <laughs> They sell very well. But also, I didn't say that was all that they stole. I said that, that they stole all of them. Uh, Sega Saturn memory cards. Um, one moment. Uh, we are out of Sega Saturn memory cards. All right, Ananda. Very good job, buddy. Thank you very much, Ananda. Let's see what he picked up on his personal shopping session. All together, Ananda picked up a copy of F-22 Interceptor for the Genesis in the original box. He also got the Ratchet & Clank Collection for the PS3, Maximum Carnage, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 for the Sega Genesis. Thank you very much, Ananda. Next up we have, who's here next? We have, 
the Ethan Turtle. Ethan, are you ready, buddy? Ethan's turn. All right, let's go, dude. Set timer for five minutes. All right, you're on, Ethan. What do you got, bud? Rare case. All right. Anything in particular in here? We've seen the rare case, I think, four times so far tonight, so I thought maybe you might have an, a game in mind already. Yes, sir. Simpsons hit and run, you got it. Pokemon Red. Ooh, that is a really nice label, too. Congrats, dude. All right. The other glass case, yes sir. Sealed Halo 3, you are out of your mind, sir. I'll be sure to keep that in good shape. Shipping it out to you. That's a big boy pickup right there. That's a get it graded pickup right there. All right. Uh, we we you next, yes sir. We have for the Wii U. Oh, this is cool too. This Breath of the Wild here. It's the misprint version. So this can't be played with the uh, with all those controllers there. Which is the first um, first release of it. Can I interest you in some chipmunks? Only four dollars. All right. Anything else for you, dude? We got in an awesome collection of uh, PSP games today. Crisis Core, Disgaea, Dragoneer Zarya, Final Fantasy, Generations of Chaos. Uh, and this one I've never seen before. Warriors of the Lost Empire. It kind of looks like Gauntlet, right? Uh, Ethan says he's good. All right, sounds good. Vaping weed smell up the rim. I'm sure it would. I don't do that, though. Um, I assume vaping smells this smells strong as well, right? I don't know. Let's see. I'm trying to stop this timer. There we go. All right, Ethan. Round of applause for Ethan, everybody. Uh. Oof. Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh, chipmunks? <laughs> nice. Strikers charged. You got it, you got it. Strikers charged. And then Xenoblade. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, good job. Good job, dude. Um, 
Let's see what Ethan Turtle picked up. All right. So. Mm. Mm. All right. The Ethan Turtle picked up a copy of Pokemon Red for the original Game Boy with, like, probably the best label you could find for it. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. Yeah, wow. That's about as good as it gets. Congrats, Ethan. That's really nice, dude. Uh, we also got a copy here of Simpsons Hit and Run for the GameCube. We got a sealed copy of Halo 3, the Collector's Edition. We got Xenoblade Chronicles, Alvin and the Chipmunks, and uh, Mario Strikers Charge. So thank you very much, the Ethan Turtle. I was not planning on a dinner date tonight, no. Alright, we'll put Ethan's stuff over here. Good job, everybody. Good job to you folks. You killed it. Alright, what the heck? Why is this not working? I'm trying to mark your orders as complete. Oh well, whatever. Uh, See, next up we have Shimigami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked. Uh, this one is one of the earliest titles ever on uh, on the 3DS, and it is now going for seventy dollars. And this is exactly what I remember from this when I bought it when it came out. It has the thickest damn instruction booklet for no reason. Why on earth should it be this big? This is crazy. Oh, that's why it's in Spanish as well. Okay, I retract my statement. <laughs> Half of it is in Spanish, okay. Whoa! Damn. Well, anyway, damn. Yeah, this, seriously, this thing feels like noticeably way heavier than the other ones. Uh, tell us why, what, tell us why un we don't sell online? Oh yeah, it's a pretty easy formula that might surprise you. Um, would everyone like to hear the story of why we don't sell games on the internet? We're one of the few video game stores that doesn't sell games on the internet. Isn't that crazy? Can you believe those guys? Uh, anyone want to hear that old uh, that old gym? Nope, no one wants to hear that. Okay, cool. Please no. Yeah, okay, never one. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear it. Uh, Alright, so. Let's see. Alright. Sticky. Whew, heard it enough. Yeah, I've told it enough. Hmm. Oof. Check in really quick. It still says Kelsey's here. What the hell? Here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna time her out for like an hour. Just in case. It doesn't say she's gone. My computer says she's still here. Um, yeah, we. All right, we're just gonna ban Kelsey. All right. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick, and then I have some uh, stuff today that I would like to present you that you could possibly purchase if you would like. Um, we have gotten just an overwhelming amount of trade-ins. The, the main reason I would say that I'm exhausted, I'm quite happy about this, honestly, but it's, it's also at the same time very uh, exhausting, is uh, we've gotten an incredible amount of trade-ins. I'm talking like, customer brings a trade-in in, and while we're working on that one, two more bring in a, a trade in as well. Uh, so we've got like, you know, a three stack of people like waiting for us to give them a price for the items they're selling to us, which is great. 
That's great. Our biggest problem has been inventory, but now that we have all the inventory, you know, it's all purchased and owned, now we have to clean it all up, put it in our computer and put it out for sale. And the whole time, you know, there's people buying stuff and, uh, and, uh, and, and they're like, hey, what the hell? You don't have as many Wii games as I would be happy with. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to get them out right now, but there's all these people buying Wii games, you know what I mean? So it's just it's just a lot going on at once, and it, it's, um, it's, it's very good, because it obviously means the stores are doing well, but at the same time, it's just very exhausting. So, uh, so anyway, enough of me complaining about doing well. Um, let's go ahead and show off some of these items, but quickly, I'm going to go run to the bathroom. And then, uh, yeah, they are very good problems to have. It's just, it's just a little draining. So I apologize for my low energy. Um, I'm gonna go run to the bathroom really quick, and we'll be right back with uh, some pretty awesome stuff, honestly. Uh, be right back. Oops, shit, fuck, shit, shoot, darn. There it goes. Please enjoy some people watching. Uh, if anyone happens to walk by. I'm back! Oh, Alright, let's see what we have, folks. Oh my gosh, everybody's getting busted tonight. Alright, so... Whoa! Uh, where did my notepads go? Anyway. Oh, whoops, camera angle's weird. All right, let's check out a uh, big old trade-in that came in towards the end of the night. Ooh, I'm gonna mix it up. So I have a really uh, really lame trade-in from some of the people who stole some, uh, stole my damn AirPod charger. Uh, <laughs> and then I also have uh, a pretty exciting trade-in. So we're gonna go back and forth, and maybe you at home can guess uh, which is which, okay? So first item to show off, Compu uh, Computer Saurus, thank you for the Prime sub, dude. I appreciate you. Alright, so the first item here is a, a copy of iCarly on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, this is totally up for dibs. Join the cast of iCarly. Their latest web show has been deleted at the last minute, and you need to help them go live by creating a new show from scratch. You'll create your favorite web segments from iCarly and even create all new skits with your very own backdrops, gameplay, objects, music, and more. So yeah, we have iCarly here. I don't know if the Stubbs happens to be here, but this does seem like a Stubbs game. All right, no takers on iCarly. No surprise, I suppose. Uh, next, we'll grab a game from the more exciting pile. Uh, this is Octopath Traveler Wayfarer's Edition. It looks like this was quoted at $140. 
Oh, Sir Roachington wants Carly. Okay. Um, and I'll show you what all comes in the Wayfarer's edition. Um, oh, looks like people are a little more excited about the Octopath Traveler thing. Um, let's see. Sir Roachington. You got it. That's a no from you, though. You don't like our iCarly? All right. Oh, well, what do you know? This is a sealed one, so unfortunately I won't be able to take open it up and show you what's inside. However, it does have a map, a CD, and a replica of a leaf coin, and an eight-page pop-up book. So there you go. The Wayfarer's Edition here. Uh, now, who dibs this guy? Have I moved stores? Uh, I'm at our other location. We have two stores. Miami Sunrise. You got it, buddy. Let me get this for you. Congrats on that. That's definitely a cool pickup. All right, next, go ahead and guess who traded this in. The, the thieves or uh, some other guy, just some dude. All right, here we have a copy of My Sims Agents. My Sims Agents on the Nintendo Wii. My Sims, any takers on My Sims Agents? Oh. No takers on My Sims Agents, okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, another classic, right, yeah. All right, no takers on my Sims agents. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, let's see. All right. Next up, let's show off. Uh, what is this? This is a retro receiver. Uh, it says retro receiver for NES Classic Edition. Uh, so I guess you plug this into your NES Classic, and it will let you use your 8-bit Go controller on there. That, this is an incredibly specific thing. This is the, the most specific item you could ever need. What the hell? All right, Sir Roachington, you got it, bud. <laughs> Does anyone need this incredibly specific device? If you happen to have an 8-bit dough controller, and you happen to have an NES classic that you would like to play wirelessly. This is your adapter. Uh, okay, no takers. All right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, next up, we have this. It's Revere Sweet A's Edition, and this uh, and it comes with a yo-yo. This looks like uh, some kind of. Homage to Earthbound. I'm not super familiar, but it's uh, ninety dollars. Revere for Reusey. You got it. You got it, Reusey. Thank you very much. I hate this because it sounds it sounds like it's glass in there, but you know it's just like a uh, it's just like a metal yo-yo that's clicking against itself. All right, all right. Once again, the game is guess who traded this in. The thieves or some guy, okay? All right, the item is... Oh. I'll show you two items. We Fit Plus and Ben 10 Vilgax Attacks. All right, go ahead and guess. Okay, we see some people saying that guy. Seems like the sentiment so far is some guy. Thieves, thieves. Okay, if you said thieves, you got it. That is correct. Ben 10 for bucket 5k, you got it. The story with the thieves, if you didn't hear earlier, was uh, I had my AirPod charger sitting here at the monitor. Look away for a minute. It's gone. They're gone, right? There goes my AirPod charger. So I just have some loose AirPods just floating around. Hopefully I can buy a new charger. Um, but, but, those same people, uh, left an iPad here. I don't know where I put it, but, 
Yeah, they left an iPad here, so I guess I win <laughs> on accident. <laughs> Alright, Bucket, I got you, buddy. Oh. Alright, no takers on Wii Fit Plus. I understand, you know, anybody watching this stream is super fit already. No need. Be a waste of money. Alright, next item we have here. Guess who traded this in? We have. She. Shikondo. Shikondo Limited Edition. This edition includes Shikondo, Soul Eater Game, Original Soundtrack, Certificate, and Manual. This one goes for $110. It is a, yeah, pretty rare uh, East Asia soft print. Uh, basically limited run, but yeah. Anyway, that's a shmup, right? Yes, I hear this is a hardcore shmup. Uh, and also, I think it's sealed. It is sealed. What do you know? Any takers on this one? Uh, seems like a bad area here? No, it's a great area here. Okay, no takers on Chicondo. No problem. Uh, next up we have... Wait, what the hell is this? What's up with this Amazon thing? Oh! What the fuck? It's just like a disc sleeve. Free 20 hours to Amazon Prime? I guess, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's literally nothing. Oh yeah, okay, so here's here's kind of a weird one. So, uh, this here is, uh, this is from Club Nintendo. Yes, it's a Nintendo Switch game case holder. Let me see if I can open it without, like, unsealing it. Um, uh, yeah, I yeah, can, cool. So, yeah, so this holds a bunch of Nintendo Switch loose games in honor of the Mario 35th anniversary. Club Nintendo doesn't often do physical items anymore, but, uh, eh. They did a couple, I guess. Amazon sleep. You got it, end zombie. Absolutely, man. These are from Canada? Are they really? Uh, they do a lot of physical items still, do they? Alright, Neo Mecha and Fusea. I actually have two of them, so you guys both get one. <sighs> Let's see. Wait, didn't you already have a pile, Neo Mecha? There you go, Fusea. Yeah, I didn't think that they did physical stuff anymore, really. Mm. One or two things per first party release now. Oh, really? Oh, man, I gotta check in on my points. It seems like I should have a lot, because I get a lot of games, but... Uh, okay, cool. Next up, we're gonna look at kind of an interesting item from the Thieves here. It is uh, Attack of the Movies 3D for the Wii. Now, the special thing about this is that it does come with 3D glasses. Four sets of 3D glasses. So you can play this game in 3D at home with the whole family. Attack of the Movies 3D, which uh, this is a, it looks like it's a light gun game basically, but you know, it uses the Wii remote, so it's much more convenient than complicated light gun setup stuff. Um, in 3D though, King of Apoc, you got it buddy. Let's get that for you. Lots of shovelware. I'm actually doing uh, one shovelware, one not shovelware. Alright, next up, for example, 
Uh, next up is Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. There you go. Uh, and that is sealed on the Nintendo Switch. This had two stickers on it, so I'm not sure the price on this one right now. Um, but we had it not that long ago, and I don't think it's that expensive. Let me just double check it really quick. Let's see. Fire Emblem... Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon. Uh, the Blade of Light 30th Anniversary Edition. Um, I think this one is 150 Is that right? You were dumb enough to buy that code in a box? Wait. Oh, this is the one that's just a code in the box. That's annoying. Um... Well, anyway, let's see. So, who who grabbed this one? That was it. Looks like Last Thought two hundred three. Yeah, I'm not sure the exact price right now. Last Thought. Um, I'll invoice you, but if you don't like the price, of course, just let me know and I'll take it off. Um, we'll figure out what it is. Oh wait, Last Thought's having second thoughts. It sounds like. Next up we have, here's a very particularly interesting item. It looks like it's the original soundtrack. <gasps> the original soundtrack, oh my god, that's a lot of songs. For, uh, for whatever it's called, Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. Holy crap. Oh, it has all of the Switch and all of the Game Boy songs on four discs. Huh? That's pretty cool. Uh, this one is 45 uh, sealed. But yeah, you can see here on the back. I know, uh, you know, Japanese is kind of hard to read, especially small and through this uh, camera. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so disc one and two are from the Nintendo Switch. Disc uh, one and two of the Game Boy version. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. That was a close one. I almost dropped that pretty hard. Neo Mecha wants it. You got it, Mr. Mecha. <sighs> you really dig the home stream? Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Tooth Slayer. I always get nervous when I do something different. I never know how people are going to like them. Alright, next let's go back to some shovelware here. Uh, next up we have... Well, not the worst shovelware in the world. We got uh, Lego Indiana Jones. I wouldn't even say that shovelware at all. Wall-E and Lego Star Wars The Complete Edition for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, can I read all the titles, please? I, I have been, yeah. Mamich would like Wall-E. You got it. There you go, Mamich079. You got it. <laughs> yeah, maybe mail tire. Uh, Bucket would like Star Wars. You got it, Mr. Bucket. All right, I'm taking away Indiana Jones. So, last last chance. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Indiana Jones. Uh, Fishy, thank you for the 14 months. Oh, Sir Roachington grabbed it right before I threw it. I was gonna say once I throw it into the you know low priority bin, it's it's gone. Consider it gone forever. Uh, Miami, thank you for the three months, man. Glad to be here. Uh, all right, we'll do two more of these. Uh, so we got My Sims Sky Heroes and Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Missing the disc though, so ignore that one. Our next strange item is one that seems like Kelsey would love it. Oh! Uh, this one here is...
An Animal Crossing bag. It's Dodo Airlines or whatever. But it folds into this tiny little pouch that says, Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, December, December would like it. You got it. I wish it didn't really look so, like, crink, cr crunkled up. Is crunkle the word? <laughs> uh, uh, oh well. Nice reusable bag. That's also a Club Nintendo item? Damn! I gotta look at Club Nintendo again, you know? After they took their break from selling physical stuff, I just kind of assumed it was done forever. Uh, Alright, December, I gotcha. Starting to run out of space over here. All right, let's look at. Um, oh yeah, no takers on my Sims, no problem. Goodbye, my Sims. Oh dude, check this out. Speaking of amiibo, check this out. This was a surprise to me. Can you believe someone took the time to do this? This is not a special limited edition link. This is a hand markered or painted link. It actually looks pretty darn good. Uh, it's got a couple spots that look, you, you can see the imperfections, but generally speaking, you know, just sitting on the shelf, I would say, that's a pretty good looking link. <laughs> cool, right? Miami Sunrise, you want it? You got it. Mostly a very cool one. Yeah, yeah, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Um, Alright, next up we have... Oh, here we have the DualShock 4 back button attachment. Uh, this one is $20, and this is a brand new sealed one. Uh, so if you never used this before, well, okay, I can't speak for this. I can only speak for the Xbox One Elite controller. Having back buttons is the future. I can't believe the new games don't have that. Well, I guess I can believe it, because it seems like it'd be more expensive. But, uh, having those back buttons is freaking incredible. It works so darn good. I love it. Uh, Bucket, you got it, buddy. Oh, uh, let's see. What else do we have from the, from the sun guy thing? Oh, yeah, here's that iPad I spoke of. Um, <laughs> let's see, what else do we have here? Uh... Uh, Mario zipper pouch. Is this the same thing? As the Animal Crossing thing? But a Mario one? I could have swore somebody reused it. You want it? Oh, no, it's just... What the fuck? What is this? Okay, Reezy, this will be like one dollar. What the hell? It's just... Oh, here's just a generic circle to put whatever in with Mario's face on it. What is this? I thought it would be a little, like, cooler. Headphone case, are you guys just saying that because mine got stolen today? You're just trying to make me feel bad? Bunch of trolls. Oh my gosh. Earphones. I get it. I know I don't have my headphone case. You don't have to keep rubbing it in. Everyone's talking about headphone cases. Oh my god. Alright, Reezy, I got this aside for you. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's see. Shovelware. Uh, next up we have Eminem's Beach Party. This is covered in liquid. Uh, Eminem's Beach Party. It's actually a case for what? Hmm. Uh, this is probably exactly what you'd expect it to be. A bunch of mini games. Uh, we got Sonic and the Secret Rings. And Pictionary. Uh, Bucket would like some beach. You got it, Bucket!
Thank you very much, Bucket. Uh, Scope Pixels would like Sonic. You got it. No takers on Pictionary. No surprise. Let's see here. Tell those babes to keep it down. Can't you see we're trying to sell video games over here, babes? Ugh. They wouldn't understand. Babes. Ah. Alright. Uh, next up, what do we have in here? We got a vertical stand for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I guess. Oh no, it's for the Xbox. Excuse me. Why, why do you need this? Doesn't the Xbox just stand? I guess this makes it more stable. So we have a vertical stand for the Xbox One X. Uh, Ryuzi would like the stand. Oh, never mind, they say. Fuseya. <laughs> Fuseya, do you still want the vertical stand for the Xbox One X? This is a... It appears to be an officially licensed uh, Xbox product. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got a Fuseya. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, here's a weird one. Tanuki Justice. Have you guys ever heard of this one? Oh my god, there are, okay, there are too many limited run companies, dude. So this one here is called Just 4 Games. Wait, this one says Pixel Heart. What the fuck is this? What? What? Okay, Pixel Heart Limited. To just for game. What? Who made this? Uh, Inendo wants it. You got it. Yeah, it is Peggy rated, so a European one. Me. Alright, Inendo. Tanuki Justice has joined your pile. Alright. Uh, into the bottom of this, uh, this good barrel. Uh, here we have a game called. Oh, this is a cool one. We used to have a ton of copies of this. I ordered this so many times. Uh, it's called Cactus Alpha. Uh, it's a cool rhythm game. Uh, the original Cactus Reborn with a brand new look. Uh, a cactus never seen before comes to the Nintendo Switch console. Um, that's a pretty cool one. This one goes for a 55 brand new. Fusea, you got it. Thank you very much, Fusea. And then, uh, I think lastly from this amazing pile, oh no, not quite, we have a uh, Golden Force, another Pixel Heart Limited Just For Games game. Uh, this is, ooh, this is a low print number too. Uh, there were 20,000 of these made apparently, and this is number 884. 20,000? That seems like a high number, doesn't it? Mr. Mr. Neotrip, you got it. Mr. Neo Trip. Alright, next up, we have another Animal Crossing thing, but I'm not really sure what it is. Um, it's from Animal Crossing New Horizons. It looks like I can open it, but I really don't want to like open it too much. Because I feel like this is going to be very hard to put back together normally. Is it like a, a bandana? Yeah, I think it's a bandana. Uh, Neo Mecha wants it. Yeah, yeah, bandana. Perfect. Gutang Clan says his daughter has it. Your daughter's in a gang? Another Club Nintendo reward. Dude, I'm so behind. Club Nintendo's been going off, it sounds like. She, yeah, she's in the Animal Crossing gang. Oh my gosh. Illegal insect trades. Illegal fossil trade. 
Neo Mecha, you got it, buddy. Oh. Alright, Neo Mecha, you got it. 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 Oh, <laughs> I have a lot of these, so if anybody wants one, speak now, but this is a little more interesting. So this is an Xbox One Connect. however, it has a very extra interesting piece with it. Just kidding, no it doesn't. It's a, it's an Xbox One Connect. If anyone wants it, let me know. Uh, oh, and we also have a PlayStation Vita Grip. Yeah. What's a connect? It's this, uh, it's this ancient technology used to spy on you. Uh, grip from the Mitch, you got it. If you got big gamer hands, it's probably a much more pleasant <laughs> grip than the, uh, the other. Ethan Turtle wants the connect. You got it, Mr. Turtle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, is it raining out? Yeah, it's been raining on and off all day. Uh, Alright, Ethan Turtle, you got it. Whew! Alright, the last item from the cool guy uh, trade-in is... And real quick, I'm going to need all of the miners here to, uh, to look away briefly. Oh... Uh, we got something a little slightly more spicy than normal. It's nothing, nothing uh, Grandma can't see, um, unless I guess she saw it in your collection. Uh, here it is, folks. This is a copy of a game called uh, Moiro Crystal H. Um, thankfully, is, this little card here is covering the rest of the cover. Uh, Moiro Crystal H. This edition includes the game, fully illustrated art book, uh, original soundtrack, two sticker sets, and a printed manual. So this is uh, one of the East Asia soft games, uh, which means, you know, pl from Play Asia, it also comes with uh, a little printed version, little cute keychain of the game, uh, and a thing saying thanks for the loyalty program. And what is this? What is this supposed to be? I don't know. Boba Art Book, yeah. Spendy one? Um, I don't know how much this is. But if it ends up being too much for you, um, you can always back out. I won't totally hate you, unless you do it a bunch of times. Uh, let's see. This one goes to uh, Ryuzi. All right, you got a Ryuzi. Whew. All right. Oh, uh, Neo Mecha, you can't say mask in chat. Yeah, because it got too annoying, dude. I'd like to step outside and like, oh my god, is this guy really outside by himself in the evening when nobody's around for 200 miles? Where the fuck's his mask? Can you believe this guy? Too annoying. Too annoying. So the word's banned. <clears throat> Alright. Oh. Alright, so next up, uh, we got Wii Play. We got New Super Mario Bros. Wii in Dude's Big Adventure. for Sir Roachington. Thanks, Mr. Roachington. Alright, I think that concludes the selling stuff on the stream portion of the night. Uh, oh, Mario for Zombie Gamer 01. I almost missed that entirely. Um, 
Thank you very much, Mr. Gamer01. What up, Emily? Did someone summon you? I, I did not. Although you're welcome to hang out. Okay, what else have we got here, game? Whew. Never ending video games is what we have. Uh, any DS? I do not have any DS currently. Maybe in the near future. Like in a couple minutes here. You guys want to do some DS? Uh, can you drop a PG plushie? Yeah, just whisper me that. And I got you, Mr. Roach. Mm -hmm. Oops. Whew. Alright, so the plan tonight was kind of to go over to the, um, to the University District store. Um, now that we've gotten through a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, but if you guys would prefer, we can show off some more uh, DS stuff to dibs on, or we can, um, yeah, or we can just head on over to the U District store and see what's to work on over there. Uh, that's right, Zubrid. I don't fix things here because we don't have the, all the tools required to fix stuff because we don't have the room to store that kind of stuff. Um, DS dibs, yeah. Why not both? Well, because we have a limited amount of time. Can't can't stay on infinitely. Whew. But I think the U District store is a good bet. Ooh. Oh, poll time! Oh, Blackbear, you're so professional. Blackbear is gonna let majority rules, guys. What would you rather do? Looks like UD is where we're going. Okay, okay. Let me, um, I need to start packing up your guys' orders. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's see. 11 freaking months. Mom 11 freaking months. Take care. Thank you very much, buddy. Did I show you guys this thing from earlier? I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did show you this. This is embarrassing. So, is Stubbs here yet? That boy. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, you love your stream. Oh, thanks, dude. That's nice of you to say, Alex. Let's see, the stubs. The stubs ain't here still, damn it. Um. Yeah, I already showed people earlier, but I just think it's so funny, so I'll show it again. Uh, the stubs? Gives this stuff, like, I want to say, like, maybe a whole month ago. <laughs> and I just forgot it here. So the stubs never got any of this stuff. Uh, it's been sitting here at this door just like collecting dust for the last long time. So, whoops. 22530. I'm not going to make that mistake again. But I have to gather the games first. They got uh, Monster Zinc, they got Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly. 35415. They were probably dying without that Pooh game. Uh, Adventures of Cookie and Cream. That's a good game. 14483. Uh, Perfect. And lastly is Jackass the Game. I played this briefly, but I really want to go back and try it again now. 249866. Six. I'm sure this is a terrible game. 24966. It's a classic? Is it actually any fun? Alright, 
we got two little bags here full of your guys' dib stuff to bring to the other store. Uh, bring iPad with you. Sure, I'll bring iPad with me. This is a trophy. We'll have to get a switch light for Olorus Maximus. Will do. Alright. Ethan Turtle. Oh no! Ethan Turtle got this uh, this connect for the Xbox One. Uh, Xenoblade, Halo, Pokemon Red, Alvin three eight six seven zero. Thanks for helping me clean up the store, guys. Certainly made it easier. Three eight six seven zero. Perfect. Three eight six seven zero, and then eight seven five eight. This is a lot. <sighs> oh my gosh. So we gotta clean this guy off. I believe Pe uh, Pebbles is here tomorrow, uh, working on all this stuff. So she should she should hopefully catch up on a lot of uh, a lot of the giant trade in, the giga trade as we've been calling it. December. Whew. One employee at a time at the store? Uh, we have one employee for Monday through Thursday, and then two employees Friday through Sunday. Uh, sometimes two when it's like, you know, we got shit to catch up on. Like right now, so. <laughs> big bag. I might have to drive the car over here and pick all this stuff up. Yeah. I think that's probably the best course of action here. Is this the other store? Why is other in quotes? Uh, but yeah, this is the other store. Yeah, this is the original store. Alright, we've got your strange order here. we got lots of weird stuff. Um, the only thing I need to gather for an Indo is F22. 23143. Three. Oh shit, dude, which would you prefer, Nindo? We have the, what I assume much must be much more uncommon, uh, cardboard box version of F-22 Interceptor. And we have the hard box. Both have the game and manual. Except this one, the game is small! What the fuck?! Bro, you have got to get the cardboard box version. 
What the hell? I always see this as the big boy. I never see it as a small one. Dude, you have to get this. This is probably super rare. Isn't it? Yeah, he says yes cardboard. Cool. Dude, I have never seen it like this before. That is so cool. Right? We've all seen F-22 Interceptor. Very common Genesis game, but I never once as a, as a normal size Genesis cartridge. Neat. Alright everybody, uh, give me just a moment here, we're going to uh, close up the store a bit, and then we're going to walk on down, pick up the car, drive here, pick up the your guys' orders, and then head on over to the U-District store and see what there is to process there. Uh, it seems like we got a really nice um, stack of stuff for Pebbles to work on tomorrow. Um, My main goal was to try to eliminate all of the like weird stuff and keep it just to the one mega trade, you know? The giga trade. Uh, just keep it all to that so she doesn't have to worry about anything else. Cool. Okay, that should be all taken care of then. Go grab the car, everybody. Oh, but hey, before we leave, why don't we see the um, the highest seller, lowest seller at the store today? Most expensive, least expensive. So, most expensive item to sell today was an Xbox One, 500 gigabyte normal ass, uh, you know, original Xbox One, uh, $150. Not a big item, but today was all about plushies, apparently. It looked like about half of our sales today came from plushies, believe it or not. Crazy. Uh, so, we had that. We sold a PS3 console for 100 bucks. Uh, Cat Trap for the Game Boy in the original box. It's a $75 game. Uh, sold Pokemon Ruby as well. Pokemon White version. Uh, oh, yeah, we sold the Chrono Trigger Guide. That's pretty cool. Um... Uh, Muramasa the Demon Blade for the Wii sold. A Japanese copy of Pokemon Emerald sold for 50 bucks. Japanese one, too. Crazy. Uh, let's scroll on down to the cheapest things that sold today. Uh, cheapest thing, yeah. Once again, the trend does not stop. Rock Band 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 3 sold today. Uh, we sold a Lego Dimension figure for three bucks, yay! Uh, triple Play 96 on the Genesis, complete in box for only three bucks. We also sold Band Hero on the PS3. All of the rhythm games have the biggest comeback ever right now. They're all selling out. It's so awesome. Uh, oh yeah, here's an interesting one. Derby Tsuku, meaning, uh, like, der create a derby. So it's like... A horse racing derby creator for the Japanese Sega Dreamcast. One of the most obscure, I would put in like, you know, my top list of least likely to sell items. It sold today, yay, for six bucks. Um, here was an interesting one. We sold a copy of Forza, uh, Forza Motorsport uh, 2. Uh, the reason that's interesting is because the person it sold to works over at uh, Turn 10. Uh, that's the place that makes the Forza games. Uh, Alright. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh shit, what happened? My modem broke. Turn on. Oh no! 
Oh man, all my stuff is broken. Oh no, this box is broken too, it won't react. What the heck? Uh oh, are we dead? Are we F? Gosh. Don't forget short stack of games? What do you mean? You'll have to be more specific. Let's head on over to the car. Oh, hey, nay, now the, uh... Alright, now it's turning on. Hopefully we can connect it, because... Yeah, this, uh, this whole thing is super frozen. Oh, no. Alright guys, let's walk on down to the car and uh, get this all set up. Whew. Boop -a -doop -doop. Oh, I like that song too. Uh, okay. One sec. Are we still alive? <laughs> what the fuck is that sound? I think that's just the sounds of the cars going by. It sounds like more synthwave. <laughs> Uh, alright, alright, right, this way. I can't believe we're still on, because my, all my stuff seems to be completely frozen. Um. Alright, gang. Right this way. Alright, short little walk over to the car. I'm gonna get you guys on a tripod really quick though. Oh man, and it's raining out. I'm missing that sun now. grab the car. Had to park kind of far away today because I don't know what was happening but just everybody was out and about and like even this parking lot that costs an arm and a leg to park at was uh, completely full today. That place is that place is seriously like eight bucks an hour. It's crazy. Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean that's like just for the first like one or two hours but could you imagine eight bucks an hour is like <laughs> Like, the federal minimum wage is like, oh, you're paying money to go to work with your car at that point. Jeez. Eight sounds cheap? What? You're crazy. If that sounds cheap to you, you gotta live in, like, a... Uh... I'm trying to think of like, where's more expensive than Seattle? It's like San Francisco, New York, I assume. And I think that's it. <laughs> $8 an 
Eight dollars an hour is cheap. What? You guys are all smoking crack. Eight dollars an hour for parking? That's insane, dude. Uh-oh. I'm the last car in the parking lot. Whew. Settled in. Oh no! All right. We're somehow still running. Right? It looked creepy. You pay zero cents a year for parking? Well, la di da, El sir. Free lot or permit? Uh, it's two dollars an hour. Much better than eight. One sec, guys. We just got to move closer to the store to go pick up all them bags. I'm not walking back and forth to this car. Whatever radio. Alright. Oh shit, wait, I can park here. Oh, that's super VIP parking. Hell yes. I misread that sign at first. Alright. Ultimate VIP parking right here. All right, you guys, guard the car, okay? All right? If anyone looks in the car, kill them, okay? I've, I've attached a gun to the camera. If you... If you sub, it will fire it off. No, that's not real. If you type exclamation point, uh, but it will shoot it off, okay? I'll be right back. I'm just going to go grab those bags.
hello. All right, folks. Oh. Dude, the trunk is completely full. Just so you don't think that I'm just a, a massive silly goose. Oh, I don't want you guys thinking that of me. Just so you don't think that I'm a massive silly goose over here. I just like to point out that my entire trunk is completely full with additional trade-ins from today. The entirety of the trunk. And I know this looks like, you know, not like a big car. The trunk is pretty damn big. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been quite a day. So anyway, we're heading on over to the U District store. Uh, while I'm driving, I can't really see what you guys are saying. So please just enjoy the ride and I will try to entertain you with some thoughts and takeaways from the day. I'm pretty sure he stopped before me. I'm trying to be a courteous driver. Courteous cars. Oh shit, I left one light on. It's fine, we'll live. Um, <coughs> whew, take away from the day. Too many damn trade-ins, but also not enough and it never will be enough. I'm very happy about that. I'm Why are you looking in there? Why are you looking in there? I'm now suspicious of everyone who's <laughs> Everyone wearing a mask, I mean, you know, obviously that's a, you know, a safety precaution, but everyone wearing a mask now at night, I'm like, after that break in, I'm like, how dare you? How dare you be out? Go home. What are you up to no good, sir? So, um, what, what was I saying? Yeah, the incredible amount of trade-ins. Really, really, really good stuff. So, the stores are going to be looking as good as I've always wanted them to look. And as soon as we get through them all, that is. I don't know, that 3DS collection, man, we're gonna have a freaking awesome wall. It's as good as, uh, good as you could ask for, I'd say. Let's see. Um, yeah, this is, this is some bizarre music. Hopefully it's obscure enough to not trigger um, robots. Oh. Wait, what? There's Amazon Fresh as a grocery store? Did you see that billboard? It said opening soon, Amazon Fresh, your new grocery store. I already knew they owned Whole Foods, but they're going to make some Amazon branded uh, grocery stores. I'm a little surprised by that just because, you know, Amazon in general, I mean, it definitely has a recognizable name, but uh, especially here in Seattle, it doesn't really have like a good name, you know, like people don't think positively of it, but maybe that doesn't matter. Probably just people knowing what it is is more important than... Uh, a bunch of haters, right? We also have one of the few Amazon Go stores here in Seattle. Uh, and if you haven't heard of what that is, it's one of those stores where there is no cashier. Uh, and it doesn't mean everything inside is free. You scan like a QR code that's linked to your account, and then you just pick up whatever you want, and then you walk out without like doing a checkout process and it automatically bills you for everything, like pretty semi-instantly afterwards. Um, I think I remember reading when they first launched, because I went to the grand opening, because I thought, wow, that sounds cool. Uh, I think they weren't like encouraging you to steal. They're like, they're like, go for it, try whatever you want, you know? Try to, try to steal, it's cool. Um, and so I tried some tricks, right? Like I went in with Kelsey, and I like, you know, came up behind her and reached in front of her to grab an item and then like, you know, put it in my bag. I picked up, I put an item in my bag and then pulled it out of the bag and put it back on the shelf. Like all sorts of stuff. I was trying a bunch of stuff to like see if I could uh, steal from there, but nothing worked. It's pretty, pretty damn good technology. 
But if you look around, you know, because obviously, like, a weird place like that, you got to be curious of, like, how it all works. So it looks like they have a bunch of Kinect sensor bars up in the ceiling. They're watching, like, everything you do. And they also have a bunch of employees. Because you would think, like, hey, yo, you know, a cashierless uh, grocery store. Oh, they're killing employees. Dude, there were more employees there than ever before. Uh because it's just people walking around making sure every single item is like perfectly aligned on the shelves. Um, I think it, it must have like a combination of, yeah, like a weight sensor and, uh, and that camera or something. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, but yeah, they would make sure that every single item was pulled as far forward as possible and like perfectly aligned. And I get the impression it wasn't just for... Um, it wasn't just for presentation, you know? It seemed like... This seems too obsessive, you know? Uh, seems like maybe the technology is reliant on this. Um, plus, it was funny, too, because, you know, the whole thing is like, oh, it's cashierless or whatever. Um, but to, to buy beer, which I did, of course. Of course, you got to test the buying beer function. You still have to check in with a dude to, like, show your ID. Um, which, that's the real technology I want. If we're going to have cameras watching every single checker in it, so I don't have to pull out my ID every time. I don't look less than 21. theater when I was, uh, like, 17-ish, something like that, can't remember exactly, uh, and you get free popcorn, but it's funny, because they were, like, very anal about, uh, you know, the inventory, which in their case was, like, the popcorn buckets, uh, you'd have to, like, account for every single one that wasn't, like, directly sold to a customer, you know, like, if, uh, if you dropped it on the floor or something, you had to, like, fill out a form. <laughs> anyway, uh, the best thing ever, because you get free popcorn, but they give it to you, like, in a garbage bag, 
And then the best the best combo ever was just pour a bunch of the nacho cheese in with the popcorn. Very good combo. Folks, we're here. I'm just gonna parallel park here. Oops, I did this a little stupid. That's okay. Usually, uh, I'm pretty good at parallel parking just because, you know, we have like the backup camera and those little beeps, but uh, my backup camera's all covered in water. I can't see shit. All right, hey, welcome, welcome, everybody. Oh no! In Indo, some of your stuff fell over. No, you're fine. All right, guys. Hey, we made it. Restart cam. We got static audio. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. How long has it been static? I have such high hopes for this, but it might be dashed because GameCube games are so... Oh, my God. What? Sorry. I'm so hyped. <gasps> Sunshine, bro, what the fuck? We got a giant Mario plush, and for some reason he has a zipper on his back. Oh, gross! What? Ew! Why is it brown inside? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Armored Core Nine Breaker nice. really exists. We got Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Is it okay? I was kind of scared oh, shit, after. You cracked it. Shut up! Oh, yeah, you're lying. You I can tell it. when you're acting. <laughs> uh, hmm. Not quite sure if that's. Not sure if that sound is quite. For, what the? What am I hearing? Hello? Oh! It's picking up me! Hello. 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 Hello, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Ten times. This one goes out to Carol Baskin. <laughs> this one goes out to Rinser8675309, the newest person to follow. Thank you very much, Rinser. This one goes out to you. Yeah, and I landed it too. Oh, not even close to falling. I know. Station Vita. We also got Senrin Kagura. What is this? Bon Appetit Full Course? Which one? There's a lot of Senrin Kagura games. It seems like four come out a year. What is this about? Come eat with all you've got. Busty Hyper Cooking Battle. What is? What do they mean by busty? Uh, I'm thinking they have large breasted anime girls. Oh, okay. Oh, amazing. Uh, Wait, can, you fr can you front flip? I always see guys back flip. Can you front flip though? Can you do a standing front flip? I don't think so. Hey. Let's say I was let's say I was put into a self-defense situation where I had to have sex with one Pokemon. It would be Gardevoir. We're here. I think we're gonna be good Please for. Please be careful a bit. not to fall backwards this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Fuck. Oh. Just kidding. Mummy's day.
Has this ever happened to you? Oh boy, I love playing Lego Batman, but I also love skateboarding. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage. Well, we got a solution for you. It's called disc resurfacing. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. All you do is pop it into the disc resurfacer, press the button, and out of nowhere, it's completely fixed. Well, gee willikers, mister. And suddenly, your disc looks good as new. Wowee. We are, guys. Have you ever been a Smash player and thought, Wow, I lost that match. It couldn't be because I suck at Smash Melee. It must be because of the controller. Well, this should be very satisfying to you then. You actually just suck. Just kidding. Here you go. They are tight. They are responsive. They just snap right back into place now. Love it. Tight and responsive. Just like you'd like your lady to be. Whoa. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Mixed audience, Kelsey. <laughs> All right, so over here, uh, we have our Game Boy games. I think people were pretty excited about this section. Let's see, let's start over here with original Game Boy games. That was kind of impressive, right? A little bit. Don't act like you were. Oh, we are back. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Hey, welcome. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's, uh, you know, I've been having the worst technical issues. Oh my god, I fucking hate you so much. Well, welcome back, everybody. <sighs> All right, welcome back to the store, everyone. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so, oh, hold on. <sighs> Every single technical issue that could possibly be imagined is to be had now. Welcome. Alright. Enough issues, let's get back to work. Well, I think that's the issue, right? Because you can't work because you got these little interruptions constantly. Um, This is a test for the right. Oh. What did the poor phone do? It rang at the wrong time. What did the poor Cody do? Oh, I do need another Vegas trip. Thanks for mentioning it. All right, so let's see what exciting things we have that were also traded in today. Uh, they're just sitting over in the car. Let's go grab them.
right, everybody. Let's see some of the other trade-ins from today. Whew. Uh, we got in an Xbox One. Uh, however, it has issues. It's been taken apart. It doesn't quite work. So we have a whole bunch of um, repair parts, basically, is what we have over here. Um, sorry, sir, we're closed. Yeah, there was somebody trying to come in. Uh, <sighs> so... Get this out the way. Mm. Oh, Lord. Here we have uh, Ultra Core Collector's Edition. Also up for dibs if anybody wants it. Um. But yeah, just never-ending stuff traded in. Uh, the Sara Collection? Is anyone familiar with this? We got a broken DS. Throw it in the pile. Zombie Gamer wants Ultra. You got it, Zombie Gamer. We got in uh, Door Kickers Action Squad and the Ninja Saviors Return of the Warrior. Uh, and Streets of Rage 4. This one they call the Classic Edition, which is different than a Collector's Edition. Um, you got a last thought. Yeah, all these are sealed. Uh, and then we got Saturday Morning RPG sealed as well for the Switch. Rage for last thought, yes sir, dude. <sighs> and a red 3DS. Not turning on. And missing screws. Not good. Uh, it's all from one person? Dude, I don't know anymore, last thought. I have no idea. It's all just getting shuffled together. We got so many trade-ins, I don't know where anything came from anymore. Mm. Might just be a battery? Well, it might be a battery. It might also be that the screws are missing. That's a problem as well. Throw these in the repair pile. so hard to work on. You got it off the best. It's um there's just a lot of like tiny screws and like tiny stuff that's held together like really tight so it's it's a pain. But I, I think I've just done it enough. It's not so bad. You got an alpha pest? Moxley fan. <coughs> Alright, uh, let's grab one more uh, handful of stuff out of the 
car and see what we have. I also have piles of stuff here that we need to process, so... Um, yeah, let's, let's grab one more thing out of the car really quick. Thanks, Doctor. All right, here we have the uh, Damon X Machina Collector's Edition. This only came out in Japan. Uh, Orbital Limited Edition. Which includes, you get an 18 centimeter arsenal statue, you get the game, 100 page art book, and a steel book. Uh, Great Owls would like that one. You got it, Great Owls. More cool stuff. Thank you very much, Great Owls. And you might notice my fancy backpack here. Pretty cool, huh? It's a PS3 backpack. You'll never guess what's inside. It's a bunch of PS3 games, some pretty common ones, but nowadays since the um, since PS3 has gotten so crazy popular, more than I ever expected, honestly, um, these are great to have. And they're great, like, pretty solid titles, you know. Um, even if they are common ones, they're at least they're good popular ones. Uh, and there's, hey, look, a PS3 system. Whew. Uh, did Vasara get dibs? It did not. Um, I don't know how much it is right now. Uh, I could get you a quote, send you an invoice. If you don't like the price, just say no. But I don't know right now. Uh, Bontekun. PS3 is so popular right now because Sony said they were going to close the online store, which prompted everyone to go, holy crap, i got to buy everything right now. This is totally crazy. Um, and it kind of caused a big rush for PS3 games. It's also kind of like the perfect age for people to start getting that nostalgia hit where they're like, oh man, I really want to play all these like these slightly older games. Um, and, and they're generally pretty affordable, but like some of the more popular titles just like really skyrocketed. Um, <laughs> Sony did back off of that. Um, but that doesn't like undo the damage, right? Uh, Ninja Saviors for Mad Marky. You got it. <sighs> That's the thing about retro games and like, like, good again, ex oh my god, sorry, it's been a long, long, long day. <laughs> uh, Pokemon, for example, right? Pokemon uh, sold millions and millions of copies, right? Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, etc. Um, even though they've sold millions and millions of copies, it just keeps inching up in price. So, you know, various events will happen. Uh, back when I first started working here, it was like maybe a $15, maybe $20 game. Um, and then, you know, Pokemon Go came out, which made it really fucking skyrocket. It was worth so much money. And then it comes down a little bit. Uh, what happens is, you know, you get this demand created, but the supply just kind of trickles in as it does. Um, but, you know, that demand kind of ate up a lot of the supply that's never going to be given back. You know, like, 
these people who buy the game, they're just going to hold on to it forever, or maybe they're going to throw it away, maybe they're going to lose it, maybe it's going to get damaged. This stuff isn't getting remade, or it's replenished, this old stock, so it just kind of perpetually goes up. Uh, let's see, so Mad Marky, I got you, bud. So this recent PS3 thing, like, you can't just kind of undo it because of logic, you know? It's like, it already happened and now the stock is that much harder to get, but people still want the games normally, so. Uh, supply and demand! Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, alright, so we got that. Here we have a really weird one if anyone wants to dibs it. Uh, and I actually kind of don't know what it is. I, I'm going to defer to Neo Mecha Sonic for reference on this because he's kind of the expert. Um, what in the frick am I looking at here, guys? Af Afunta? Why is it... We have, like, a really classy Vita grip, right? So, so you put your PlayStation Vita in this grip, right? It also comes with some straps. One is, like, a leather strap. But look at this shit. It's got some, like, screen protectors, too, in a wooden box. This is like the Louis Vuitton of Vita grips. <laughs> uh, Alright, Great Owls, you got it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of a confusing one. Uh, oh yeah, we got the businessman's uh, DS case. Official Nintendo DS business only. Weird, eh? <sighs> Whew. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get back to processing all of these games because there's there's a lot of them. So. Oh. Uh, let's see here. We have uh, Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond. Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is this not on here? One sec, guys. There we go. Cool. Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond. Poke Park 1, Wonders not. Wonders right here. Pikachu's Adventure. Uh, we got Pikmin 3. Oh my gosh. Tech issues to the max. Uh, Super Mario 3D World. Wonderful 101. Nintendo Land. Don't you miss it? And Poke and Tournament. Oh, here, here's a cool one. Pokemon Leaf Green. Ooh. All right. What does Leaf Green go for now? $95! What the hell? What the heck? That's too much. Can you believe that? You buying games live here? Not right now, no. Kind of on and off. <laughs> okay, so. 95. Whew! Whew! We did have a copy of Fire Red, it already sold. Alright, into the rare case with Leaf Green, the game that sold millions of copies. Uh, Alright, we have a couple of uh, GameCube games, which is great. GameCube, talk of the town right now. Uh, there we go. Metroid Prime. Here we have Call of Duty uh, 2, Big Red 1. Enter the Matrix. Uh, 
Pac-Man World 2. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. Uh, Soul Calibur 2. The one where you can play as Link. And Call of Duty Finest Hour. We even got a couple 64 games. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> These ones were already cleaned and tested by Pebbles, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of like double clean them, because why not, right? And uh, they don't need to be retested, obviously, but uh, yeah, we got Hey You Pikachu. Which is a shame because we have a, we actually have an empty box for this, um, but this cart this cart is in too bad of condition I would say to put into an empty box and sell as a collector's item you know uh, for those kind of things we want to have only the best. Uh, yeah, we do have 64s for sale. They're a hundred dollars. Comes with one controller and all the cables. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit faded. That's too bad. Oh. I do have Mario Golf 64. Thanks for asking. Whew. Yeah, Disheartin. What are you talking about? You're here every night. What are you talking about? One sec, I need more paper towels. How the hell do you not know that, Desart? You're here literally every night. And they've been a hundred dollars for months. What on earth? Mm. You're crazy, but Pokemon Stadium. Hey, you Pikachu. <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Uh, where are these guys? They're there. Whew. Uh... hit those pins one last time just for good measure I like the perfect pins yeah yeah I'm not really pulling anything off but that doesn't hurt to try one more time all right Pokemon Stadium Pokemon snap and hey you Pikachu we got the whole gang this one was a shocker to me Pokemon uh, pinball Ruby and sapphire that one was like ten dollars before. Um, 45 now. What the heck? What the heck? Ooh, how's planning for the road trip going? Uh, not good. Kelsey's in charge of planning it, and I don't think she has planned it at all yet. Um, sorry, I'll, I'll harass her to get on top of it. Speaking of prices, what is the price on Gummy? You know her dog? 
I want to buy our dog right now. How much for her? I will trade you my entire Wall Street Kid collection plus a limited edition hand number and signed flag player poster. Sounds like I'll a take deal that. to me. Sounds like a deal to me too, bud. Let's do it. Whew. Absolutely, bro. Let's do it. Anytime. Hmm. Is she my travel agent? No, so Kelsey was telling me that a bunch of people in Discord said I did a really bad job on the last couple of road trips. So she said that she's gonna take over for it. So hopefully she puts that together uh, sometime soon. I, I, I'm not a good planner, honestly. I'm more of just a do things kind of guy. So uh, yeah, that's me. So, uh, so yeah, Kelsey's in charge of it now. She took it over, but uh, yeah, we'll have to let uh, Dakin know because Dakin, I believe, wants to join early on. So we'll actually have kind of um, we'll kind of have a, a partner a little bit for some of the road trip. It sounds like. What am I, where am I going? Oh, uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, still, still figuring it all out. Sure, send Kelsey whatever you want. <laughs> uh... No, Dakin, why no Dakin? Dakin's great. He'd be a great help. Whew. All right, uh, here we got Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. A little bit faded on the label, but. Let's see here. All right, these guys are all good. These over here. in Phoenix the whole city sucks I don't think so I've been there before it's pretty cool um, let's see we got Skyrim um, hold on a sec. It's, it's a bit confusing because a lot of the stuff is uh, some of the stuff isn't on the sheet some of it is. Okay. We got a Kiwi Game Boy Color, which is killer. Bourbon Street, is, is that uh, uh, New Orleans? That would be awesome. I'd love to. Whew. That would be cool. You're more of a teal guy. What? I didn't know there were such things as teal guys. Holy crap. Uh, Game Boy Color nowadays uh, is $70. Teal Game Boy is best? No way, dude. The teal one's lame. Kiwi is where it's at, dude. This or the transparent purple. That's the best ever. You all know it in your hearts. Here we have a very interesting one, the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. Anybody want this one? This is a very rare and expensive thing now. The Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. I think it's like $200 now. What the hell? <laughs> I remember having a ton of these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Where you does this song need our dad? I don't know. Neil Mecca, your TTS is interrupting me talking to you about the two that you bought for me. How many did you buy? How much did you buy it from me for? It's like nothing. This is called Delta Raw Zero. I don't know anything else. Uh, so Neil, yeah, it's like 200 now. Isn't that crazy? 45 for the first one. Well, congratulations, Neo. You've you've uh, accidentally invested. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, here we have a weird one. Prison Break, starring uh, Eminem's little brother. The answers are behind bars. It's a stealth game, it says. Oh shit, do we have cheat codes here? What is this? Do we guys do shipping? No, we don't. Oh. Oh no, this is where they bought it. This guy bought it for $10. Over in Wisconsin. Mojo's Gaming. Um, this game now sells for $18. Oops. $18. Yay, profit. Hey, no problem, no problem. Posty's great. Anyone's welcome to be Posty. Uh, here we have Valkyria Chronicles. The cheapest anime game ever. It's suspiciously cheap. I assume this must be one of the single worst games in the universe. Because whenever there's anime on the cover of a game, that means immediately it's minimum of $15. I think that's like a rule. Um, not a rule that we do, that's just how the pricing gods willed it. However, this Valkyria game is eight. Something is not, yeah, it's the anime tax. So what the hell happened here? Why is this game cheaper than every other anime game ever? What's going on here? All right, next up we have uh, Soul Calibur Four. For the PS3. Whew. It's the Chaos Wars of Valkyrie games. <laughs> Even Chaos Wars is worth more. Right? Uh, Darth Vader, yes, that's right. This is a uh, Soul Calibur 4 uh, featuring Darth Vader. Soul Calibur is pretty great with their weird crossovers. I think uh, Yoda was in this as well, right? Yeah, and Starkiller. That's a lot of crossover. Alright, Soul Calibur 4. We got another one. It is a uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Uh, that's a little bit more affordable for a uh, Pokemon game. It's only twenty bucks. Whew. Oh, Yoda was Xbox. Oh, okay. I don't know who I'd rather have. Yoda jumping around with the lightsaber is a little too silly for me, I think. Um, let's see. Fire red. Oh! Here we got a cool one. One of my favorite original, probably my favorite original DS cup color. Uh, there it is. The Electric Blue DS. 
Ooh. Actually, that screen has too deep of a scratch on it. I don't want to sell it like that. Uh, we'll see if we can get that fixed. I'll pull that out of inventory. I'm going to go put this in the back for a repair guy to take a look at. Darn. Because that one works totally and everything. It's just, that's a real deep scratch. I don't, that's embarrassing. Excuse me one second. Uh, we got something here, folks. Something you might find interesting. Boktai for the Game Boy Advance. The sun is in your hands. So this game has a photo cell in it. Um, so that it, like, things change. Uh, I don't know exactly. It was described to me before. Uh, so my data is slightly off, but not totally bad. But basically, like, for example, during the night, all of the vampires are stronger, or something like that. It's, it uses the, the light in the room, uh, change the gameplay. Pretty neat. Uh, oh yeah, how bad is it on an SP? That's a good one. Uh, you're coming down tomorrow on a PSTV. Do you have any of these? I, no, we don't. I think we're sold out everywhere now. Alright, so... Ooh. So these games here, these all need uh, new save batteries. You guys want to do some save batteries? That's a little boring, but... It's got to get done, you know. Uh, before we get before we get down with the boring stuff, why don't we take a quick little walk through the store and see uh, what's new, and then we'll do uh, all these safe batteries here. Because basically, all these games are just not out for sale because they simply need a battery. That's dumb. It's a very easy fix. So let's get them out. But first up. Dude, our gorilla pit's getting lower. I gotta go grab some from the office. Three DS section is looking a little fuller. I know what you guys all want to see. Let's look at the rare case. Any new 3DS games? Yeah, rewind the stream. We have about a hundred. Bazooka Brandon, thank you for the 32 months. Pretty decent looking uh, selection right now, huh? I'm pretty happy with it. Rare case, or er, not rare case, console case is looking about the same as before. Seems like we probably didn't sell a whole lot of consoles today. Good. All right. Whew. All right, let's get these uh, batteries replaced so we can get this stuff out for sale.
Hmm. How do we get a sticker? Come into the store. They're free in the store, except I'm all out right now. Or order anything. I gotta grab a chair. Wait, it needs battery. No, it doesn't. Does it? Oh, yeah. I gotta grab a chair. Oh my gosh. Sitting down after today is gonna be quite relaxing. Oh. higher than I thought it did. <sighs> You're coming over to the store, Sir Rochington? Come on down, dude. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's nice. Whew. <laughs> uh, what was the bonk game in the rare case? That's called Bonk 3 for the PC Engine CD. It's extremely, extremely rare to find the PC Engine CD version. It's our most expensive game at $950. If anybody ever wants it, please let me know. Oh, oh dang it. I keep thinking I finally have all the tools I need and then I remember another. Alright. Alright, finally have everything. Whew. Let's do this. No, Kuso Trevor. I was there earlier today. Oof. Wonder Woman, I don't remember the last time I sat down and watched something. But I will be watching tomorrow. Very excited. Alright, folks. So, first up we have a copy of Pokemon Sapphire. And uh, we need to replace the battery on this. You're probably pretty familiar already, but uh, Pokemon games, a lot of them, not all of them, use save batteries or uh, time batteries. So this copy here of Pokemon Sapphire already has a new battery in it. We're going to put a fresh one in there anyway. We like to do that um, so that the owner gets a fresh game. Uh, one more thing I need. One more. I keep thinking I'm finally able to sit down and do this. Then I need another thing. Uh, solder. Where is it at? Perfect. All right, now we can do this. So anyway, uh, here we have a copy of Sapphire. So uh, the battery in this one is used to 
um, keep your time clock, right? There's some things that are, um, oops, some things that are event-based and time-based in the game, so it needs a clock. Uh, how do I know it's new? Because of the yellow insulator on the side? Um, that is a characteristic of just the new batteries. The old ones used uh, blue and red. Alright, so this guy here... Boop. There we go, and... Just like that, folks, we got a fresh battery right here. This Pokemon Sapphire. Yeah, super, super easy, fast fix. Not everything is that easy. Um, that's just for like the Game Boy games. Some of the other ones, they uh, the battery passes through the circuit board um, and sometimes requires a bit of manipulation uh, before it will work properly, but yeah. Uh, sure is fluffy pancake. All right, here we got Boktai. The sun is in your hand. This is that weird photo cell game. Um, I don't understand the question. Sorry, Believe It Gaming. There we go. Boktai. This is a very rare game and very sought after. I think mostly because of Hideo Kojima. Um, maybe you guys have heard of this guy. Pretty popular game developer. Uh, well, he was a producer on this game. How do you get the old battery off the Game Boy game? Uh, well, it's just soldered on, so you just uh, undesolder it. So, like, you just use the hot iron and. Yeah. Uh, same way you get it on. So, soldering is kind of like welding, except it's like really small scale, right? Um, you're basically just melting metal, and then the metal, uh, after it's melted, you can pull the battery off. And then uh, you remelt that same metal, put a new one on. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, not use a tool to remove old solder? Yeah, you just end up reusing it, yeah. It's not rocket surgery, it's just, uh, just a battery. You don't need anything crazy. <sighs> you want a closer look? Sure thing, Pooh. I made my own keyboard. Uh, no. I didn't even know that was a possibility. I think it's getting to that time of night where I don't understand where the questions are coming from anymore, or what they are actually asking. Um, yeah, I have never even heard of someone making their own keyboard before, besides maybe Logitech. Alright. Alright, let's get a real close look at this. So here we have a copy of Ocarina of Time, uh, the gold cartridge. Whew, this one sells for $100. Yes, hand channel mode activate. So, Really? There's a big community of keyboard makers? I've never heard of that before. I'm also not much into PC stuff in general, I mean... Alright, so... Taking off this little metal shielding thing here. Oops! Oh, man. I didn't mean to drop it like that. Uh, anyway, so there you are. Here's the battery. 
positive up, negative down. We're going to get a little bit of leverage on there. Oops. Perfect. There we go. Ta-da! Battery is free. All right, so we got a fresh new battery here. Unfortunately, these have really irritating tabs. So these tabs work perfectly. F oh, wait. Oh, nice. Wait, not nice. Damn it. So these tabs are kind of the opposite of what I need them to be. So the positive end here has a really small tip, uh, and the negative end has a really wide tip. Uh, I need the negative end to be small, uh, and the positive end doesn't, it can be small or big, doesn't matter. But basically I need to crush this end so that I can, uh, so that I can fit it through the hole. So, one moment. There we go. So using a pair of pliers, I just uh, crunched it in half. Pretty easy. That happens sometimes. Our regular battery distributor has uh, been failing us. Word from our sponsors at Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is one of the biggest mobile role-playing games of 2021. <sighs> and it's totally free. Currently with over 300,000 positive reviews. All right, all right. Let's see. All right, there we go. So, fresh battery is through. Whew. All right, let's solder that down, and then... There we go. Got her all in there. Pretty nice. Let's see, put this guy here. Oh. No, I didn't, whoa. Okay, I was gonna say, am I hallucinating? You guys all saw that, right? The power just went out. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah. It tripped here too, so Superset. Superset lives nearby. Um, I mean, not really, but just one second. Let me just uh, tell the computer to turn back on so we have some music. This is going to be a little awkward for a minute, guys. Oof. Oh. Yo, you're over just in Ballard? Oh, wow. Um, that's really close to here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it flickered off. Um, one of our neighbors just reported that it flickered for them as well, so. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope you guys are having a, having a good night, having a good Sunday. Hope you're ready for work all next week. Uh, let's get back to this battery real quick. I'm about done with this guy. So. There it is. Oh yeah, I'm getting this replaced. See how it's all scratchy? It's it's become too scratchy. I remember getting complaints back when it, uh, not from customers, but from you guys. Uh, back when it had like very few scratches, but now it's it's become too intense. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm getting this replaced. Um, yeah. it's just, uh, it's crazy. There's just so much, uh, so much to do. <laughs> All right, computer's firing back up. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no.
Mm. Oh, the batteries. Yeah, Tommy P. Very common question. Uh, they last about nine years. Uh, yes, Bontekun. I have them at. Um, the first day we had this, the first day we had this glass replaced, it was scratched by people bringing things in for trade or just whatever things getting on the counter. Uh, believe it or not, it's not me working on the glass that's causing all of the scratches. <laughs> it's the day-to-day -day traffic. Um, it is a, an extremely busy store, and <laughs> a lot of people touch this glass uh, in various ways that are not gentle um, and cause some scratches. So. Darn kids, no. It's just, it's just people. It's normal shit. Uh, all right, here we got uh, Mario Golf here for the N64. Computer's sort of turning on here. Oh yeah, we can do the uh, highs and lows for um, for this Unistrict store here. <sighs> you touched it today. How dare you, Urgent Sandwich. Chrome seems to have disappeared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, wipes testing their diamonds. That's what it is. No, nah, it's fine. Part part of part of business. Got to replace it sometimes. Dude, I got it. The last time I got it replaced was so bizarre. I went to this place. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I went to this place. Uh, over in Capitol Hill, it's a glass replacement uh, business, uh, which, come to think of it, is probably the best place to have a glass replacement business, isn't it? Um, so that place was so bizarre. It was the strangest place ever. Like, they had all this stuff everywhere that was, like, all these, like, signs around the counter and stuff that says that say things like, uh, the customer is always wrong. Fuck you! If you got a problem, go fuck yourself. Like it was like all this kind of like anti-customer <laughs> customer paraphernalia all over the place. Like a ton of um, uh, it, it reminded me because it was all corny as shit. You know what I mean? It was like a it was like a, a really old dude there. It kind of reminded me of um, like fishing jokes cut out as like little comics, right? It, it, it was a lot like that. Um, please take my wife, please. That kind of thing. Um, so anyway, I go there and, th or when I ordered the glass, they just sounded kind of confused. I'm just like, yeah, can I, can I get this size glass? Like your strongest glass, please. And they go, ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, are, are you sure? I don't mean to bother you. Uh, like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll call you when it's done. I go, uh, okay. All right, that's all there is to it? Okay, cool, sounds great. So I don't get a call, and then uh, I call them, and they go, oh, yeah, yeah, we finished that. Come and get it whenever. I go, uh, okay. So I show up, and they go, uh, what are you looking for now? I'm like, oh, I'm looking for that glass that I ordered, you know? My name's Cody, Pink Gorilla, I'm picking it up. They go, oh, um... I guess I'll look around. Like, it sounded so fucking confused about the entire process. I was like, what is going on here? Uh, when I finally got it, I was like, okay, so, you know, I brought, like, a check with me, right? I'm like, okay, so, you know, how much is it? They're like, uh, whew, I, I don't know. Is, is 45 sound good? Like, like, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. You could have told me $450. I don't know how that, how much glass costs. Sure, yeah, 45 sounds great. Let's go for it. I'd just love to be done with this. This is the strangest sales interaction I've ever had. Um, it was like pulling teeth to, to, to buy some glass, man. <sighs> yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, 45 was cheap. That was the best part of the whole interaction, was that it was not expensive. <laughs>
Ta-da! Sorry, a lot of this is like kind of off camera a little bit. Would do it again. Uh, I don't know, dude. I've, I've only had kind of bad experiences with glass replacement companies. There was that one, remember, after we had the big break-in? Um, that took months and months and months to replace glass. And then when they finally, they finally replaced it, you know, of course they charge you for everything in advance. When they finally replaced it, like, many months later, the guys broke another piece of glass. It was insane. How thick is the glass? I think it's uh, three miles thick, I'm pretty sure. All right, fresh Mario Golf. Good to go. Ta-da! Mario Golf, $38 now. Damn, Mario Golf. You getting up there, buddy. I lose sight. Um, I don't invest in commodities anymore. <sighs> golf is underrated. I'm gonna definitely get a uh, Mario Golf Switch. That shit looks like it's gonna be crazy. Oh my god. You're excited for it? Me too. Oh my god. That Nintendo video they put out? <laughs> oh, what? Battle Golf? You got like Arena Golf? <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> looks amazing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why are you stuck together? Whoa! Why was that so stuck together? What the heck? Anyway. Uh, there it is. Oh. Gamer goo. Yeah, yeah. Typical gamer goo. Um, Alright, so. Fresh battery popping out. Get out of here, nasty old battery. Oops. Oh yeah, so this game here is a, a kind of a rare game. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called a uh, Super Mario World. Hmm. Bit of a hidden gem on the Super Nintendo. $300. Uh, not quite. I think just because nobody knows about it, it's only $22. Um, you know, once it catches on, though, I bet you this one's going to be easily $300, $400 game. Game with the Blue Hedgehog? That is correct, yes. Alright, so... Let's get this going right through there. Whew. That's right, I am not backing up the save files. I could do it, but I don't really see much point in that. How much do we sell Wall Street Kid for? Wall Street Kid is one of the few games in the store that we don't sell. Um, I personally am trying to collect every single copy of Wall Street Kids on the planet. 
So because of that, that is uh, one of the few games you cannot buy at Pink Gorilla. Just about anything else, though. Uh, hey, Bad Company, thank you for the Prime sub, buddy. Oof. I'll never get your copy. Pfft. You wait, the price will get high enough. Last thought. You're gonna be like, I could pay off my house if I just sell Cody my Wall Street kid. Oh. Another done one. Next up, Super Mario World. This one I already opened. <sighs> oh my gosh, where can I get a skate this time of night at midnight? Uh, yeah, I do have a Japanese version of Wall Street Kid. What's Wall Street Kid about? Dude, it's the dumbest concept ever. So get this, right? Some guy's like, hey, Wall Street Kid, uh, I'm gonna give you a billion dollars. All you have to do is get a million dollars based on starting with a balance of $500,000. So you need to invest in the market and double your money, and then you're given like, you know, 20 trillion times your money, something like that, right? So it's like basically a, a guy falls for like a Nigerian prince scammer email is the concept of the game. Um, totally ridiculous, right? Um, the the easiest uh, easiest game to complete ever. Like you could bring like some sort of contract like that to a bank and be like, hey, I got a very weird proposition for you somehow. <laughs> Somehow my insane grandpa like set up this weird uh, inheritance uh, contract. <laughs> Can I borrow five hundred thousand dollars for a minute? Promise to pay it back. You know. Uh, very very weird. There you go, perfect. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gonna play it. I'm not gonna ever play it on stream. It's too boring of a game. Look, games aren't meant to be bought and then played. You know, we buy them, we collect them, and that's the end of it. Okay. Um, uh, any games on stream? Uh, I like once a year I play a game on stream. It has to be a game that I like really like or I'm really excited for, but. No, nah, not really. Uh, it's not my thing, you know? My thing is more like not really having fun as much as it is uh, marching towards an early grave. Thank goodness someone that understands understand what. <clears throat> Sleepy boy.
How does claiming games work? Uh, do you ship by chance? Yeah, we only ship in, like, the most complicated matter ever. Manner ever. Um, sometimes I sell games on stream, it's, like, pretty random. Uh, I'll show it off if you want it. You write, dibs, followed by the name of the game you see on stream. Basically, basically, no, I don't sell video games online, sorry. It's, it's complicated, you don't want any part of this. Just go to eBay. It's, it's all too complicated. I don't even know where to begin to explain it, you know what I mean? It's... <laughs> uh, hardest game card I've ever had to fix? Uh, hardest game card to fix? I don't know, they're not really hard to fix. Um, yeah. Uh, last... Yeah, you're funny. We do take crypto, yes. Yeah, it's one of those things you just kind of, the answer is lurk more, honestly. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I know it's not very welcoming, but that's 100% by design. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like an auction without the bidding, exactly. Uh, yeah, sure, Trick, you got me. Um, I think we'll have PAX this year. Oh, we will have a booth there if there is a PAX, um, but yeah, I think we're going to have uh, like a physical PAX this year. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I think it 100% comes down to someone else being the first to be a convention in Seattle. That's, that's what needs to happen first, but given that PAX is supposed to happen all the way in like, uh, is it, it's not August, is it? June, July, August. If it's supposed to happen in August, it's obviously not happening. Two months is no time to say that they're to surprise you and say they're doing a convention. Um, where's Pax held? Downtown. Well, I know it's usually Labor Day weekend, but last year, you know, because of pandemic stuff, they said, "Oh, we're gonna move it." So they said they were gonna move it towards the end of the year, and then they changed their mind because obviously stuff. But. Uh, but yeah, if, if they are doing it Labor Day weekend, I guess that would be the first weekend of August, in which case there's no way they're doing it. You know, we would be in attendance there, and we've gotten no notice uh, with only two months? Oh, there's no way. There's no way they're doing it. September 3rd through 6th? August, September? Maybe. Three months lead time? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it really comes down to we need somebody else to be the first to take the bad publicity of running a convention. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be the first place to do it, but somebody has to so that everyone else can do it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's really not a lot of time to uh, order stuff. Okay, well, yeah, given that information, I would say there's no frickin' way PAX is happening. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's... It, I'm talking about locally, right? It, I'm not talking about throughout the country, because there's lots of places that have been doing stuff like that. Florida's been open for a really long time. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. Alright, next one. Uh, I've never found money inside of a console. No, I found money behind a manual of a game one. I found 10 bucks. Ooh. So, yay. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, I don't know. Given that information, I'll say there's no way PAX is happening this year. I sure hope it does, but... Uh, 
Maybe Emerald City. Emerald City is supposed to happen in uh, early December, I believe. And although it isn't my favorite convention, if it happens, it will be my favorite convention this year. Yes, we have had a booth at Emerald City Comic Con the last 10 years, I believe. Uh, we've had a booth at PAX since the second year they were open. <sighs> oh my god. Sorry, I, just, I wiped out, gang. Are there any grocery stores still open? I need a steak. No, no, I'll Google, I'll Google. I'm not asking you guys to Google stuff for me. That's ridiculous. Ugh. A lot of the grocery stores used to be 24-7, but... Darn it, they sure do close early. What the heck? Oh. Alright. Alright. Fresh new battery. We don't have any Walmarts here in Seattle, Affleck. Alright, Donkey Kong Country Diddy's Kong Quest. Ha! Hilarious. Um, there we go. Alright, only two more batteries to go. Here we have a uh, Donkey Kong Country. This one is a 40 minute drive away. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, man. It, the the worst part about COVID is it gave all these places an excuse to close early. Now they're never opening again. Like, uh, sorry, I don't mean they're closed forever. What I mean is they're never opening normal hours again. Our 24 hour fitness went from being 24 hours to yeah, like 12 hours. What the fuck? to be illegal. How dare you? Oh. Oof. <laughs> no, there's not a discount? What are you, crazy? Is <laughs> of course there's no discount. Northgate Safeway closes at 1. Uh, there's a Northgate Safeway? Oh, yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Alright, I can make it. Uh, Alright, awesome. Dinky King is done. I'm getting in the groove now. I'm getting every single one of these knocked out easy. Uh, hey, Iggy Boyles. How am I doing? Exhausted is how I'm doing. <laughs> Besides that, fantastic. It's, uh... I'm gonna chill out tomorrow. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. Those noises. 
I might come in a little bit tomorrow because it's so much to do. It never ends. There's so much to do. Um, yeah, tomorrow's a Marriage Monday technically, but work supersedes Marriage Monday sometimes. Sub count. Uh, sub count is 27.45. That is uh, pretty close to a record for me. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, I think 3,000 is the record. I was like so close to the 3,000 mark where you unlock a new emote. Uh, yeah, crazy. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. Um, Don't tell my wife what. You guys want to come buy some meat with me? Why are you changing batteries? Uh, it's because they need to be changed. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Uh, Hawaiian Warrior. Yes, it is my store. Welcome to Pink Gorilla Games in Seattle, Washington. Um, yeah, let's go to Safeway. Midnight meat stream, baby! I'm gonna wander in there with the camera and they're gonna go, yeah, that's normal. Fucking weird guy wandering in. Yep, this is Safeway at 1 a.m. Alright, I'll need a brief moment to, to clean up, but for the most part, we're uh, a okay. Got a guy with a camera in here to document all the meat. Uh, no, Quizar, we are not open this late. All right. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. Or uh, uh, rather, let's put all this stuff away now. more food than anyone. Look at this. Look at that grummy food just going bad. Bad dog. Ugh. Not a bad dog. She's a good dog, but... Eat it myself. Please, I only eat steak. Yeah, it is soft, because my dog, she doesn't have any teeth. She's like a really old dog. Um, so yeah, she doesn't have any teeth, which is cute. I mean, it's sad, because, you know, she actually never really ate, like, hard stuff in the first place, but it's funny, because she'll always be like, she'll just be, like, you know, she just sits there. Like that all day, just with her tongue sticking out. It's, it's really funny looking.
all these guitars. Sorry guys, it takes a minute to, uh, to clean up. Yeah, the guitars are getting super expensive now. And they're selling out in the store very quickly too. It's pretty exciting. These were always kind of a, a throwaway item, but not for us, you know, we don't really throw anything away. We like to, to keep everything, even the kind of lame stuff like that, right? But um, but for the longest time, uh, people were just throwing the guitars in the trash, dude. So uh, they become kind of hard to find. But we always kept them, so we have a we sort of have a ton. Uh, it takes time because a lot of them need repairs. Uh, yeah, it takes time because a lot of them need repairs. But um, if you take the time to do it, it's worth it because they, they'll sell. They'll sell quick. order all right just a couple more minutes we'll be all good to go I did not go to the car show yesterday. I was canceled due to rain. Our show uh, next week if it's still happening. So, Whew. I, I had a good time last time. I hope you guys do too. It's the exotics at Redmond Town Center.
people in Seattle be used to the rain? We're used to the rain, but people are bringing out extremely expensive cars. There was a $3 million car there last time. You don't really want to bring that in the rain. Yes, we are bringing um, Grammy next time. You hate the east side? How come? I love it over there. It's so much more relaxing. It stresses me out here. It's too fucking crazy here. You never know when like a naked guy is gonna run in the middle of the street with like a scythe, like coming at you. You know what I mean? Like that wouldn't, I mean, that, that would be a crazy thing, but it wouldn't be like unexpected, you know? officially ready to get out of here. It's been a long night, long day. Holy crap. everybody for uh, hanging out and uh, positively adding to uh, positively adding to today's stream oh Let's go get oh, some steak, some midnight steak. Mmm. Mmm. Holy crap. You seeing this? Damn.
this thing. Chelsea now. Oh. Hi everybody. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Where's my wallet? Uh, uh oh. That is slightly concerning. Oh, there it is. Nice. Alright. Wallet, check. Car, check. Oh. Oops. All right, are we still on? Are we still on, everybody? Oops. I don't see any, either my phones, Dead or the chat's dead. Uh, let's see. Uh, you don't think virtual events are fun? Who the hell thinks virtual events are fun?
Ta-da! I always like to be Mr. Neighborhood Watch Guy. Because it's so crazy out here. So like late at night when I'm on my way home, I'll kind of go like really slow by everywhere to make sure nobody's broken into suddenly, you know? So I guess we're heading to Northgate Safeway uh, for steak and then praying the rain stops so I can cook said steak. I kind of didn't really think about that second part until just now. I guess I could go out there with an umbrella. Is that weird? Is it weird to cook a steak at 1 a.m. with an umbrella? That's not weird, right? Oh my god. Oh. It has been the longest day ever, man. Thanks everyone for being funny tonight. Some of you guys are really funny. It's a relief. After such a long day. Uh. stories in the morning, or at the beginning of the stream, but, uh, but I, I'm, I'm sure the, the pool of people who are here now versus who are here at the beginning is probably mostly completely different. Uh, so at the very beginning, right, I was telling that, uh, we had, <laughs> we had this, this group of people, uh, these two people came in at the very end of the night. Uh, the thieves we've called them. Um, they came in five minutes before the store closed, uh, desperately rambling and uh, asking to sell some stuff, which is never a good sign, right? Um, and we're just like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. You know, uh, just put your stuff on the counter. And uh, oh man, it's been so long since it's rained that the the roads are probably like super slippery, and dangerous now. Isn't that what happens is like there's like oil on the road and then like it mixes with uh, water and it gets super slick. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually like kind of swerving around a little bit. Jeez. Um, so anyway, I was saying, uh, so these guys come in like five minutes before close, uh, quickly quote up all their stuff. And I know 
but it's, you know, where I had left my charging pod for my AirPods. I left it, uh, you know, right there, like, next to the computer monitor, within reach of customers, I guess. And then they're gone, and so is that. So that's probably the most annoying thing to be taken ever, because I still have the damn AirPod pieces, but, you know, no case to charge them. So they're useless now. They're completely useless, uh, which is so annoying. Uh, but the funny thing is, is jokes on them because they, you know, they asked when they were selling stuff, like, do you guys buy these? And they had an iPad. Like, no, we don't buy iPads. And they left the iPad there. So, uh, hopefully the iPad's worth more than a charging dock. I think it is. It's gotta be, right? So, at least that worked out. Uh... story from the day is just it was a uh, general theme it was just crazy busy you know uh, where we had just like trade in on top of trade in on top of trade in one guy had like some really awesome uh, he had some Brazilian Nintendo 64 games so in Brazil game collecting is really hard and I'm sorry if I'm slightly wrong on this uh, little fun fact but uh, I'm mostly right uh, so in Brazil, collecting games is very difficult, and you guys might have heard the news back, like, uh, actually this might have been back in 2013, uh, anyway, a few years ago, Nintendo decided to stop selling games there entirely. Uh, the issue is, the government there taxes games at the same rate that it taxes gambling, it considers them gambling items, even though, you know, even if the game has nothing to do with gambling at all, it could be Super Mario Land and it's still considered a gambling device of some sort, right? So the tax on it is 150%. Uh, if you can imagine buying, you know, a, what, an original Game Boy for $100, all of a sudden it's $250 to buy that Game Boy. So uh, huge pain in the butt to, uh, to buy games there, right? Even though it's a massive market for it. Uh, well, anyway, they still did sell some games. Uh, the way you can tell, uh, what's it called, that it's a Brazilian game as opposed to whatever else, uh, they have, you know, a different rating system, and they still will work on, uh, American systems, uh, but it's like an L, I think is their E for everyone, it's called, it's just like an L, um, I forget all the steps of it, but it, it basically looks like a parody of the ESRB, uh, but with just completely different, uh, icons, you know, for, for all the different ratings. Anyway, I brought that stuff in today, and honestly, I probably didn't pay him, uh, you know, a fair value for what they're worth, just because I thought it's going to be extremely difficult for me to sell those items, um because, like, well, first off, they look fake at first glance, like, if you didn't know what they were, because the the other thing about the Brazilian games is they're printed on lower quality paper, like, all the labels uh, for the cartridges look way lower quality, um, you know, which is usually an indicator of it being fake, plus it's got the weird ESRB logo, like, there's a lot of things that would make someone who doesn't know all the information think it is a fake uh, game. Uh... But, but yeah, so I was just like, dude, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I was just thinking, man, these are going to be very hard to sell, even though they're really cool. Uh, yeah, so I was like, ah, sorry, dude. But yeah, I can't remember what I offered him, but he was, he was unhappy with it, unfortunately, so, oh well, it doesn't always work out. Oh. I just feel bad because it's like, it's so rare to find Bra <laughs> Brazilian games like that. Man, I'm choking on this damn popcorn. <coughs> the popcorn kernel is attacking the throat. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Thank you, Diet Coke. You saved me. I sure hope 
this isn't like the last drive where the camera's all like staticky audio and it's just, just fucking ruined. I'm just talking to myself the whole time. We're almost there. It's just right up ahead on our right. Stop, 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 stop. Oh shit, where do I turn in? I don't really go here. How do you like being Kelsey? Oh, shit! <laughs> Camera just fell over on me for a second. Um, I was gonna say, how do you like being Kelsey? As opposed to the dash cam. Uh, this doesn't look as open as some people might have said it was. This shit ain't open, is it? No. Are you guys sure? Are you messing with me? I'm like the only car here. Were you guys setting me up to be like robbed or something? What is this? Let me see here. Google says it's 1 a.m. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't get killed. If we get killed, I blame you. Yeah, there's some sketchy characters out here too, dude. What the fuck did you guys get me into? Epic troll, everyone. <laughs> oh. Oof. Oh. So do we fire Black Blair? <laughs> How could Google be wrong? It's Google! That's never happened before. Uh, the website and Google, yeah. Uh, you called the damn place? Wait, what does that mean? You called them and they said they were open till 1 a.m.? <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, the phone system says 1 a.m. Oh, okay. I was I was wondering if you talked to a person or something. Um, well, anyway, I should probably get going to bed. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Uh, no steak for me. That's okay. Uh, little, little, little. Let's go raid somebody who's really neat. Um... No, I mean, the door's not opening and the, the sign says uh, midnight, so they must have, like, <sighs> they must have just updated it recently or something. Um, let's see here. Let's go read.
All right, everybody, we're gonna go raid Patty, who is playing a game called Gauntlet Legends. Uh, I had a great time with Gauntlet Legends in the arcade. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well. Four player beat em up, sort of. Um, kind of fantasy castle themed. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we had a pretty productive night. Uh, sorry about my low energy. It's just, you know, get there at, you know, 11 a.m. Have a very, very, very stressful day, and then, you know. Anyway, thanks for dealing with me, everybody. Let's go see Patty. I hope you guys all have a great night. I'll see you again Tuesday. Um, yeah. And hopefully there will be news on the retro road trip really soon. I'll harass Kelsey about planning it. Uh, join the Discord for more information on that, or follow me on Twitter, and uh, I'll try to be uh, better about posting about that. See you guys. Have a good night.